fur in your hand and a Newsies hat. You'd fit. I ain't got a beer. <laughs> Some grapefruit shandy. Oh, okay. Never mind. <laughs> that right, that looks crap. disgusting. I don't know why I hate it. <laughs> <laughs> I know why, because it looks disgusting. It looks disgusting. It really does. <laughs> Fine, just for you, Adrian. Bam. There. Hell you feel yeah. better now? Hell yeah, bro. Yeah, do it, do, it like a, do it like a Cholo does, where they have like the the bottom three buttons. Just like, take it off. Out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just take it all off. <laughs> just rip it off. <laughs> uh, all right. Welcome to the podcast. <laughs> Episode six. Do right the, blue, the Blue Rupees podcast. <laughs> Our weekly game podcast. We talk about video games and... Uh, Sometimes. Terrible... No. Fucking attire, because Jesus Christ. Yo, I'm professional. I'm sorry I have a very professional day job. Is that your day job? Yeah. Are you, you look Are you, you all right? <laughs> you all right? You look, you look way better. Michael J. Fox syndrome has kicked in. <laughs> Wait, what are you talking about? <laughs> your fucking cameras are shaking the fucking... Oh, uh, it's because I'm, I'm tapping my foot and it's fucking... Oh. Uh, it's bouncing my web camera. <laughs> <laughs> your house starts sinking. Wait, hold on. <laughs> Hey, I'm going to weigh down my webcam. There you go. That's good. We're good. Hell yeah. Fucking... This is our weekly gaming podcast. Folks, it's every Thursday uh, up at 11 Pacific Standard Time. No. Yeah. That's yeah, Gore. boy. Hey! That's that's David. I'm Adrian. Uh, if we're the only audio only, then... Uh... Nobody knows who David is now because it's insane. It's true. Yeah, well, the guy, Which, it's the maybe guy we'll that we were to. complaining about at the beginning. Don't worry about that. Yeah. Um, yeah, this is, this is our weekly gaming show. We do other podcasts too. Give a quick shout out to those. We do, uh, we're do. we doing currently, we're currently doing a Game of Thrones uh, spoiler cast that we do every Monday. And yep. we do a movie podcast. Three more episodes. Three more. We're, we're halfway there already. Almost done. I mean, the show is terrible now, but so, I yeah, mean, who cares? Yeah, I got pretty bad reviews. Yeah, it's horrible. So screw it. Only nine point uh, seven. Fuck that. I don't know. If I'm slumming it, maybe I'll watch it. Uh, and then we also do a movie podcast called Not Another Movie Podcast. And we post that up every Tuesday. <laughs> Tuesday it's Wednesday. exactly like every other movie podcast. That's the that's the yeah. funny. We talk box office and Endgame again. Yeah, that's okay, it. We'll talk, we'll talk about Endgame. Those are the only two things we ever <laughs> talk about: are box office and Endgame, which means we only talk about Endgame. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's, there's only one thing. <laughs> at least for the off. next two months. Uh, now nah, Pikachu comes out next week. We're good. Yeah. Also, we're gonna talk a little bit of movies on this podcast. That's for sure. Oh, we'll talk talk two. I know one a trailer, and then another is a just a movie straight up. I'm right. assuming. Uh, so what you guys been playing? I've been playing fucking nothing. So that's that's my I'm done. I I've done that right. goddamn thing. Gaming. David, how much have you played recently? Uh, I've been playing a lot of Overwatch and a lot of Mortal Kombat 11. Yep. That's me. I, I had to do all my placements in the, like the span of like oh, is it four, done? Ho- four hours. Oh yeah, it's done. Oh, fuck. I thought you knew. Nope. I thought you did them already. I have not even. I've not turned on Overwatch. I thought you, you, you. I assume you know this because you watch no. all these Overwatch events and shit. But they don't so have anything to do. With I, I assume you keep. Yeah, I know, but you, I thought you keep in nah, the know up. about Whoops. Overwatch. God damn I will it. let you know. I, I assume you already did it. No, that means I fucked. I would have my golden gun too this last time. Fuck. I got my. I, I don't know what I'm gonna buy yet, but I just got enough for a golden gun. God damn it. I'm thinking right. Torbjorn. I don't know. Wait, wait. Torbjorn's not great Fuck. though. And his hammer's gold though. It's pretty cool. But anyway, um, yeah, I've, I've been playing Overwatch also and Mortal Kombat. But um, you, you go. You talk about it. That's your games. Yeah. yeah. Talk All about. right. Cool. That's it. No, we've talked about those games. That, that's, I was going to say, we've been talking about both of them for quite a oh. bit. Although Mortal Kombat, just getting specifically now that I've had a chance to really sit down and play it, um, the game's all right. It's one of those things that playing around with the character customization is kind of neat, but unfortunately the game feels like a regression in terms of controls. Mortal Kombat 10 felt like NetherRealm Studios was finally getting the stiffness out of the gameplay. It was still kind of stiff uh, for the more modern 3D fighters, but this feels like a step back. It almost feels like Mortal Kombat 9 in level of how stiff the control feels. Okay. I'm okay with it. I, it, it feels fine to me, but I don't play uh, all these fighting games. I only play a couple. and I, I play them for about a week and then I'm done. So Calibre That's, Six, like, ooh, it's fun. Then I and then like what Red Dead came out, I was like, oh, I'm done. <laughs> and I just play Red Dead. So it's 
I think it came out. That game, that game came out like a week before Red Dead, and that was like the worst time. It was like I have like a week, and then Red Dead only for like a month. <laughs> As, but, uh, uh, Mortal Kombat 11 is a lot of fun, though. I, be, I beat the story mode. Story mode was fun. Uh, let me just tell you right here, the story mode when it comes to like the graphics, like are insane. Like Injustice 2 had oh, insane dress. Yeah, but Mortal Kombat 11, like I couldn't believe how good the graphics were. I was like, I, and that's that might be only because I never played Injustice 2 with the 4K or the uh, HDR. I didn't have a 4K HDR TV at the time. But uh, in both of those, whew, look good. And I'm really halfway good. through, uh, not going to spoil the territory, but so far I've definitely liked the direction they've taken it. They're keeping just enough similar to what was kind of happening during Deception and Deadly Alliance while still trying to continue on its own story like they did with the last two entries. And yeah, it, it, they took some interesting risks, but I definitely like where they've gone with it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, so far it's it's pretty standard, but uh, it's good. I mean, I beat it, so... I. Halfway through, it's pretty standard. That's it. Yeah, I won't spoil if it gets crazy. So, what um, what'd you guys get? No, I'm not mm. done. Oh, what'd you guys get? What did you, no, I'm not. You I'm, I'm not. I'm not done though. <laughs> it's, you, I didn't, you didn't even go to me yet. Oh, I thought you said that's exactly what I've been playing. I have been playing those two, but I, believe, I played other things too. Can you? Well, okay, well, been I, I've been playing Days Gone, um, which came no, out. Hold on, hold on. Let's talk about the bigger game. Okay, play, uh, I've been playing Dong XL. <laughs> Ding Dong XL, please. Get it right. <laughs> Is that like not your friends or something? First of all, I don't know why the fuck it's called Ding Dong XL. They just wanted to, they couldn't come up with a name and they're like, hey, you know that was the one? showcase, right? I don't care. <laughs> this is really... No, no, I'm not, well, I'm not saying anything about the name, but you know that was one of the games that showed off in that kind of funny showcase that we were watching. Is it really? Yeah, that, that was. I actually meant to talk about that last week because I bought that because that was made by someone. That, I thought it was a dollar. So yeah, that's, that's made by someone that's a fan of kind of funny. So they got a shout okay, out. cool. I mean, it's a fun game. It's just you you play as this little ball and you have to go up and down and along the way you have to avoid things that are coming. Oh, XL. Oh, that's the XL part. That's the XL. The ding dong. Because you're XL-ing. Is, cause you're long ways like a ding dong. I got it. <laughs> I figured it out. I don't know what the XL part is. I get it's because it was a mobile game and now it's on Switch, so it's like XL. Nah, it's definitely, it's, it's definitely a mobile ding dong. It is 100 percent a mobile game. It's it's a ding dong. I mean, anyway, it's still... day, Days Gone. Oh. You didn't return it. Ding dong is pretty fun though. Days Gone, no, I did not. Uh, well, when we talked last time, I didn't know the game was supposed to be 500 hours long. So uh, now knowing that, I'm like, all right, well, I guess I'll just keep it. And if I really want, I could sell I'm it back. We're gonna for... return it back anyway, though. If I could finish it quick, I, I really thought the story mode would be like 10 to 15 hours. Like, just the story. If I want to go through the story mode. What were you missions. talking about? You were just like, uh, you feel shitty about it, which is dumb. I think, I think that, was, that was dumb. I feel shitty about it, but it's GameStop, so I probably would have done it. Because I, mean, I, I always I always do things like that with the GameStop anyway. I like bring in, like, I, I have the case, but I'm going to bring in just the disc. Is that Fuck is that them. shitty when it's when it's part of the return policy now? Like, I feel like that's not shitty at all. That's taking advantage of the. I, I feel bad. I feel and they, bad and they're, literally, I, they're literally telling you to do exactly what you're doing. Well, no, no. The program is actually called like if you don't love it or something like well, that. Did you, you didn't return. love it. You just said, eh. Yeah. Eh. So, I mean, I mean, I beat it though. If I if I did beat it though, then it's a little shitty. Like I, I finished I it. So. Here you go. I mean, it's only shitty if I was returning it and the studio wasn't making money off of that, which they're not because I mean they they are making money. They already sold to the GameStop. GameStop's not making money. I don't give a fuck. Right, but I mean, I mean still like even I didn't, like, be, I didn't beat I, it. It's like I kept Spider Man after I beat it. I, I know. I'm, what I'm just saying, what I'm saying is, if I could beat it, then I was thinking of doing it, but I still feel a little bad. I would still do it, though. Most likely, I would have. But there's no right. way in hell. There's no way in hell. Would've, like, they knew that game was like 50 hours long. And there's no way in hell you would be able to do that. So if you're returning it, it's because you played a little bit and you didn't like it, or I don't know. Yeah, other things. Perfect, that's... right? I guess. Yeah. So the game, the game is, uh, well, you had 40 hours and you have to. It, it's 50 hour long. So right there, you know what I mean? <laughs> if you want to complete everything, then you can't do that and then return it. Right. But, uh, I have so far, I'm, I'm really enjoying it. I really like it. Uh, I forgot that, uh, if you have a PS4, then the HDR, if you have an HDR TV and a PS4, then you can just do HDR. I forgot. I completely forgot that. I'll be right back. Uh, okay, good. Uh, and, uh, the HDR helps. That's for sure. Cause, uh, cause the game itself, uh, it looks good, but there's a lot of, issues like there's pop in there's muddy textures at times 
Uh, there's a lot of frame rate issues and, and just like the perform- performance drops occasionally at weird times too. Not when there's 20 or 30 of the freak car- the freakers, that's what they call the zombies, uh, on the screen. But just like randomly, like I'll be just driving around and I'm going maybe, I don't know, maybe like 20 miles an hour on my bike and it just like drops. I'm like, I guess it's loading something in the environment I, I can't see yet or something or like something's happening because it would just drop hard to like, like less than 10 frames at times it, it would chug and besides that though i think the game is is fun i like going around the world i like exploring the houses and finding stuff to scavenge uh, i like having to deal with the both the humans and the zombies uh the hordes are kind of cool they're not too crazy so far at least i'm like 10 hours in uh they're not too crazy though they're not like world war z or anything uh I, they do get like that later on in certain missions from what i've heard like that whole the gameplay section they showed at E3 a few years ago. Remember when they're right. running away? He's running away. He's going up, uh, and there's this giant horde. That does happen in the game. I already know that. So that whole mission does happen. Um, not exactly how it happens in the E3 gameplay demo, but pretty much the same. Uh, but I haven't gotten to that part yet. So nothing huge when it comes to the horde stuff. So I, I'm a little disappointed by that. I was hoping there would be like one big section immediately where you see a giant horde. But um, no, no, nothing like that yet. It's pretty slow. Drive around on your bike. Isn't get the make sure boy's acting terrible? It's the fo- All right, this is weird. Okay, I understand what he's trying to do. Sam Witwer uh, is the voice actor. That he's, line, that line I, at the wedding, I, I've been hearing about. Oh yeah, well, it's not the, it's not the acting. That's just the dialogue. It's, it's weird. Terrible, though. Yeah, it is. But you know what? <laughs> tell, tell us what that line is. It, it's cheat. Oh, um, it, it's a flashback. <laughs> I, I, I just got to the. This flashbacks with his wife or whatever. In the beginning, supposedly his wife dies. You don't see it though, so I'm assuming she's probably alive. I'm just guessing because in the first ten minutes of the, of the game, you see the wife get in a helicopter and she flies away. She's injured and then supposedly she's dead. Whatever. Anyway, throughout no, the game, I was killing the people. No one will get that <laughs> reference. Not a single person. It does look like that scene. I am legend though. I thought that's exactly what would happen. No, that was I am legend too. Yeah, well, I have an Iron Legend one also. <laughs> That's why he parodied that scene. Our friend Sam parodied uh, I Am Legend. He's a really funny guy. Classic Go check video. him out. He's funny. He's, he's a big boy, but he's funny. Um, <laughs> and I'm saying, so uh, I'm. What was I talking about? The the flashback. Oh, the, the yeah. Anyway, there's a, there's like these remember missions. You go to this thing and like, oh, she talks about or, or your character like remembers something that happened, like how he met the wife and stuff like that. You're supposed to care, and it, it's it's good so far. But there's one there's one scene when they're getting married, uh, where she says um, they're doing their vows, and there's <laughs> she says the, it's a it's a cringy line. I, I will admit, but I, I was okay with it. Whatever. Uh, I don't care really. Uh, she she says like. Uh, just promise me that you'll ride me more than you ride your bike because he's a biker. <laughs> it's a really, it's a bad line, but people have been saying like, yo, that's a line straight out of like Sons of Anarchy. And I was like, oh yeah, it sounds like one. And he was like, no, really, it. it's, literally, it's literally a line straight out of Sons of Anarchy. I was like, okay, maybe it's just a biker thing you say. <laughs> like, that sounds like a biker thing you say at a biker wedding or some shit. Either so I was like, I don't care. It's one line, literally one line. So far, all the other dialogue has been either passable or pretty good. Um, what are you saying? I was going to ask David what he thought of that line, but are your are your earphones two different colors? Oh, what do you mean? Your, your headphone ears. Are they two oh, ears? no, it's because the uh, <laughs> little supply got broken off. I hit it with my chair uh, one day and uh, tore off the leather on it. Okay. Yeah, right. yeah, bad, bad game of Overwatch. <laughs> Uh, no, more like not no paying attention. No one's protected att- the payload. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's more like uh, not paying attention, putting it on the floor, going off, doing something, come back, scooting the chair out, then... It's off the thing. Okay, I get you. Yeah. Um, but they still work perfectly fine, so I'm not going to spend another 150 to replace them. Uh, see, so. that, doesn't, that doesn't look professional, but here you are with your fucking shirt all buttoned up. <laughs> Listen here, you sack of shit. I did this sexiness <laughs> just for you. Share and a- um, and his, so anything else you have to say about anything you have to say about Days Gone? Anything else? Uh, I want. I just wanted to say that I, I enjoy the game. It's it's one of those games where you can turn on podcasts and uh, it's it's PS4 Crackdown. 
yeah, it's slow though. Like it, it's just a, it's one you could drive around and like, oh, there's a thing over there. Let me go check it out. And oh, it's a thing you have to kill all the enemies and take over the base or whatever. It's it has very simple, obvious like objectives, like side objectives, like the ones you would expect from a one of these type of games. Um, I will say, when, I want to go back to the voice acting. Sam Witwer, uh, it, at first, it seems like his 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 line reading is really weird. Like he he'll say things like, I don't know, whatever, I, 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 I gotta go or something like that. He just, he'd say them all weird. I'm like, what, what is he doing? It becomes very apparent very early on that he's going nuts in the game, which is like, he's going crazy. So, because in the flashbacks, he's talking like a normal person. He's just like, Hey, what's up? Whatever. How you doing? Want to get a cup of coffee? Some shit like that. I don't know. He doesn't say that, but, uh, just normal stuff. And this, he's like, I, I'm fine. I, 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 and he's like, he's losing his shit. I mean, it's not as bad like that, but, uh, it, it's interesting. And I like that you're playing as a character that's kind of losing his mind. Right. Um, but anyway, yeah, I, I, I find it enjoyable. If you can get it for like 30 bucks, it's, it's a good, it's a good play. And it's, um, you know, last year. Wow. Yeah, right. Okay, yeah, so it, definitely it, not something to hop on right away. No, 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 no. No, that's like if you don't have anything to play for the summer. But like, like yeah, well, shit, this July is crazy. There's like four big games yeah, coming out in July. Say. But like um, June, June, you have like what? Crash. I think that's it, right? Uh, like Crash, and I think we said that uh, Fire Emblem. No, that's no I think that's July. July. Yeah. yeah, that's, that's what I'm doing. pre orders. That's what yeah. I'm doing. Um, but yeah, no, Except, it would have been nice, I guess, because I. The, the the benefit Crackdown had was that it was a six hour game you could beat in a whole afternoon. This day's gone, like you still got to invest that time into it, which yeah. I mean, that helps some people. But as you said earlier today, I'm over these games that are over fucking ten hours. Eight I'm hours? So, oh man, eight hours sounds like so. It sounds so good. It's just like yeah, that's yeah, what I love. Give me give me a juicy ass six dollar eight hour game that's just like from beginning to end is fucking. Even like games like recently in the last couple of years, I thought, oh, this could be like a ten hour game. Like Wolfenstein Two, ended up playing for thirty hours. I was like, what? Oh, that really? That's that long? You, you, but to be fair, you don't you don't need to. There's a lot of side stuff to do. I did it because I was really enjoying the game. But it's still a game where if you want to get every single thing, you have to. Yeah, but I mean, side missions. I don't, you don't, I don't need know. to I, do them. It, it could be a fifteen right. hour game. I I, it, I appreciate it, that, but at the same time too, I'm like. Dude, there, yeah. there's, there's so many of us yeah. that... Because, of course, when you put an eight-hour game and charge $6, some people are like, this, this is dripping you up. It shouldn't be six. But, man, you, have uh, you know what? So many, of, four hours and shit, so many yeah, of us so... adults out there are down for a fucking eight-hour game. Just give it to me. Just make it fucking lean. Make it, make it a full ride the entire way through, and I can close that game at the end. I'm like, hell yeah. I will say, it's nice to have a balance, because I'm someone that still enjoys a good 100-plus hour Yeah, RPG. I don't know how the fuck you like that, because I, I, <laughs> I hear 100 hours, and I, I, I tune the fuck out. Like, Throw it uh, no, Unless I it's like Witcher hours. or Red Dead, I'm good. And Red no, Dead's I, an RPG, but whatever. I, I like a good game like that every so often. I'll always dedicate at least three titles a year that I'll spend the good 100-plus hours 100%ing. Uh, but at the same time, it is nice having just that quick, old, quick, simple, you know, one and done game where it's just like, all right, played through, had an experience, spent no more than five to ten hours on it, enjoyed myself. Right. That's what I like about platinum games. Usually, I mean, oh, near they yeah, had that games. was like that was near was like not only thirty hours, but you had to replay it like yeah, five that was times it. That was, but like yeah. Metal Gear Revengeance, dude, you it just yeah, fucking three it just, hours it just kicks you in the balls at the beginning, and you're for, there at the end, and you're you're fucking out, dude. And First that that's a through, fucking fantastic game. Yeah. That playthrough, the first playthrough I had, it took me five hours. Second one, two and a half hours. I was yeah, like, oh, I, 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 got, I skipped all the cutscenes the second time. So I was I like, got, oh, let's go. You know, I got I got six hours my first playthrough because I didn't know how to parry. Because parry, right, right, right. parrying is kind of weird in that game. Yeah. But uh, once you learn how to, then you just blaze through. And yeah, dude, that game, that game is balls to the wall. Like every, I, yeah. I'm, I'm gonna play that again probably this summer because I've been wanting, I've been just wanting to listen to that soundtrack again. I'm like, fuck it, just play it. It's like two hours. Well, like. Even like Bayonetta and Vanquish, those games are quick. Like yeah, those are yeah. quick I have those especially games. Vanquish. Vanquish is like four hours. Oh, man, Vanquish see, was like, a very underappreciated don't, game. Don't, I love pretty I, cool. that, that's on my list. That that, that's on my list too because I really, I, I have a lot of platinum games that's not actually played through. I, how long is Wonderful One Hundred One? Uh, I never played it, but I heard it was short. Yeah, I'm not I want, sure. I wanted to like do oh, a let's find out. Those. Yeah, I never played that one. But uh, there's a that, that game that Switch one that they revealed a couple months ago. Remember, it's like, I forgot what it's called, Astral something. Astral Field? Come, yeah, something like that. It comes Astral out in chain, August. Astral I'm chain. hoping that's like a, yeah, Astral Chain, there you go. Uh, I hope I hope that game's five hours. You're That'd be perfect. Yeah. Uh, especially since they have like 15 games they're working on. Like, come on. You, you gotta do like five hours. Tops. Right. Watch, it's gonna, it's gonna be like some Platinum like, games giant, can't, I mean, Nier's obviously the exception, but Platinum Games 
if they last too long, I feel like it overstates welcome, you know. But the cool thing is, it falls to the wall, and you're just in and out. I, it, so, I heard uh, Nier's, but yeah, go ahead. Nier's phenomenal. Yeah. Uh, but uh, according to how long to beat, the average completion time for just the main story is 17 hours for a wonderful for one. For one of wow, okay, damn. Uh, so that's one. Right, well, they that, release yeah. a lot of games that are short. Like, the man, that burner. is definitely that's on the way back burner. Um, all right. And you know what? They even Devil May Cry Five. Like, I didn't beat it yet, obviously, because uh, I still got to finish talk, that. Yeah. I, yeah, I haven't been talking about it the last couple weeks. But uh, like that, I heard that you can beat that in like ten hours. You know, like and that's good. That's good. Dude, good enough. So, I'll take ten. Yeah, it's twenty Dude. chapters. So I mean, it, yeah, I, I beat the first five in like two and a half hours maybe uh, so, damn. so that, I, that that fits yeah i'm so. super excited because uh i just got uh dolby i, I downloaded the app and i got the astros at do dolby I okay yep. fucking just because because that has good hdr right that oh yeah yeah oh, oh dude i'm yeah, cracking yeah, hdr yeah. on 4k with dolby dude oh i am ready for fucking devil may cry this summer you i got one more week fucking, that soundtrack i got i got oh, actually, actually tomorrow's my last gorgeous. day of class yeah, and I got I got a couple projects afterwards, but after this, and it's like all work, which means I can't necessarily stay up too late because I got work early. But I got one month of work, and then I'm fucking I got a month and a half off. So let's go. Yeah, DMC is a good one to play. You have that, right? Yeah, yeah, that's gonna go. That's gonna go in between probably like one of the bigger ones, like either Persona or uh, or Red Dead. Yeah, Persona. I don't know if I want you want to try Persona now. I mean, oh, can we talk about that? Are we talking about that? Oh, we can. Uh, yeah, yeah, we can. We we'll, we could talk about that. Uh, um, can we just mention it right now? No, we'll save it. We'll save it. Uh, all right, fine. What uh, put that in the list though, David? If you don't yep, mind. I'll put it in the list. Um, all right. So then, Gore, what'd you get? Okay. Um, uh, I didn't get much. Not gonna lie. Uh, but I did get some stuff from OfferUp, so I guess I could show that. Yeah. I wasn't originally going to, but so let me move this shit. So give me. It's actually someone else show this shit while I get mine. All right. So while you're doing that, I got two things this week. Uh, I would have had three, but it didn't come in the mail yet. Uh, the first thing I got is my limited run copy of uh, nice. Bloodstained Curse of the Moon. That's what Gore got, I bet. And then oh. the second thing I got is I already had a slimline model, but I want to do some uh, hardware modification. So I looked around and got a cheap deal on a fat PS2. Oh, you should do an unboxing on that. It came unboxed. No, I didn't know that reference either. We had a lot of good inside jokes going on. Gotcha. Um, there was but no, a, um, we had we had a jokes. we had a one friend who like what was it, like in 2012 or 2011 he got a PS2 and he did an unboxing of it on on a video and our friend Sam, the one who made the the video I was talking about earlier, yeah, he, was, you, video. he was you idiot. Why are you gonna make a, a unboxing on that? That's so stupid. You're not gonna get any views. Go, lo and behold, that's like his second most viewed video now. He got like 100,000 yeah, views oh, on shit. it. <laughs> yeah, for like some a, reason. I and then Samuel's it. like, shit. And he, he's trying to find an unboxing. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. Uh, no, I, it's one of those things that I have a soft modded uh, PlayStation Slim, uh, PlayStation 2 Slim, but I want to go ahead and start getting some exclusive games that were only in Japan with fan translations uh, downloaded onto a hard drive because I know that, unfortunately, burned games really eat out hard drive or eat out the disk drive quite a bit. Mm, right. So I decided yeah, to buy a fat model and I have a <laughs> network adapter with the, S, uh, the HD port coming in so I can go ahead and slap in a hard drive in there have it soft modded and just play all kinds of games right from the hard God, drive you're such a fucking nerd dude hey gore what'd you get hey <laughs> what, just what, what? With you. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're all right my eventual um, goal is to have all my consoles modded at some point how are the fuck the other time oh i play 1700 hour <laughs> games every week and i fucking mod everything <laughs> it's the fact that i'll get to it eventually <laughs> Yeah, he even has time to button up all of his buttons. <laughs> I I'm sorry, I normally like to have all my buttons buttoned. It feels this, this is for the for the record. Angle. For the record, I took I took Put in this fucking bat. I hate yeah. this. No! <laughs> yes. oh, no, I it's... really do hate that. It's it bothers diddler. me so much. <laughs> you look like a Mormon. <laughs> <laughs> You're a Mormon. This, this is the same guy who, for the record, um I he lives up in Maine. I took him to the uh to a Cal uh, LA beach. He didn't know how to dress, so he wore khakis and a sweatshirt on on the on the pier boardwalk. Yeah, and also yeah, the, I wouldn't go. To we were there either. for all of like what five, ten minutes, no, and we some were there dude for a while. just walks. No, I'm talking what I'm leading into oh. is we we're only there for like five, ten minutes, and randomly some dude just comes up to me, is like, you want to buy some shrooms? No, no he. <laughs> what about my visage? Looks like I want shrooms. I know, I know, I know. You messed yeah, up the story. I wonder. 
Yeah, so the story. It was me and Jordan looked like a bunch of stoners because we were dressed up like like we belonged to the beach because we had our Rastafarian hats on and like in, in our like our beach wear on. And, and you were following Politics. behind us, and then me and Jordan got asked if we wanted shrooms. Then they and we said no, and then you look you look back at you, took a look at you, and just walk kept walking. <laughs> like, you don't but want either shrooms. way, that whole adventure was interesting because these two. I uh, had my fat ass falling behind, always in some kind of business or business casual attire, <laughs> and just not being like I belong there. Although we get to repeat that same adventure this year. Well, technically no, because we're we're not in California. That's that's Nevada. We're not gonna be in California, but you know me, I'll be still business business casual uh, when we yeah, go. You'll to be Eva. wearing that shirt on the beach. <laughs> Get, with a briefcase, <laughs> I'm gonna get brief confused case, for you. work staff again or go, at the hotel. Go file your taxes on the beach. Hey, uh, Gore, what'd you get? All right, well, I got a limited run game also, but I didn't oh, get yes, a, I didn't get the bloodstain game. Fuck. Uh, well, I asked you. Remember, I yeah, asked I know, you. I know. You're, you're actually. I think yeah. you're good. I think I need to ask again though when okay. they actually get the order in. I'm actually good to, to go. I, I'll get it. But anyway, because I'm gonna get that collector's edition for bloodstain. Uh, so don't don't name the. Shop oh, here. Sh- <laughs> Donate in the shop. They might. Someone might go. No one listens to this anyway. So it's. We get, we get some good. Sure, we get all we five. Get, we get some listeners on here. Yeah, but they. I don't think any of them will be anywhere near where you look <laughs> and go to the shop just to buy uh-huh. it to piss me off. <laughs> so I think I'm good. All right. So the one game I got, and I was gonna get the collector's edition, but this one sold out instantly as well because. I'm not lucky, uh, but I got this one, and I, you know what? I'm really upset because they have like the reversible covers for some of the limited run games, and sometimes it comes with the alternative cover on it in the plastic this one did. instead of the. No, this one did, and I do not like the alternative cover. So I got Jack Two. Here you go. Can you oh, see it? Yeah, yeah. Wait, what I do. Fuck? I I hate that cover. I, it's supposed to look like the PS2 cover. This well, looks what, fucking horrible, dude, what's right? That, what, no, but I. If it just had the you know, the picture, sure. What's up with that text? I don't know. It just tells you the the story. I don't know why it's there. It's horrible. That looks because that looks someone terrible. buying a limited run game of Jax Two needs a breakdown no, of the story it, on the it, fucking cover. Like I get that yeah. it's aesthetic, but like that exactly. looks nothing like a fucking PS. I've never seen a PS Two game with it. Well, the story. back the back looks exactly like the PS Two one. Right. Too. No, but that text up front looks garbage. I know it's horrible. I don't, I like I love the original cover with the blue and you have Jack with the gun and Dax on the shoulder. That looks abysmal. And that's what it looks like on the site. So I was like, oh cool. I guess they gave me the one because that's they. Have fun. ones that have the cover because yeah, yeah, if yeah. I open this, I could just reverse it, but I don't want to open it because I've played this game so many times. I just want it in my collection, yeah, but, but now I'm though. pissed, so I'm considering it now. Anyway, uh, and of course, I got days gone, like I said. Yeah. There it is. It's in yeah, I got two other games I'm waiting to come in for a limited run, and one of them's taking <laughs> fucking forever. You know, it's funny post apocalyptic emotional uh zombie game. Uh, it's in my PS4, but you know, what's in this box is a uh, Last of Us. There you go, the, the real one. <laughs> I didn't feel like putting it back in its case, so. I just put it in that one. All right, because that's a, the last time we played uh, Last of Us was the last time I played the PS4. When we played it, yeah, uh, that we one played, time. we played Firewall. Um, yeah, and then that, and that was the last time I played, and that was like what three months ago at this yeah, point. And so. You know what? Last of Us is fun, but everyone's really good at that game now, so we're kind of getting fucked up. Yeah, it was still fun. I was having a good time. We should play it again. Yeah. Sure. I'm not like some people where I complain. Not you. I'm not talking about you. Um, well, last of, us, last like, of us, we're, we're so... not. We're not doing well. Fuck this. I want to do well. I'm just like I'm having a good time well, even losing. Last. Well, last of us, we we're so not good at that game. You know? I was having fun. Well, that's the thing is we're so bad that it gets kind of exciting when we do when we're doing good. As opposed right. to say like as opposed to say Overwatch where I know we can we're pretty good, but then we just fucking eat ass right. a lot of times too yeah yeah and you have to wait for like, to go all the way back there and, and the just problem, like the you know team's what? not there also stuff, yeah. also because uh you can fill up the entire team with just you guys which i feel like that puts a uh, little less county accountability versus yeah and, let, so and, and, and what happens in, and what happens in our overwatch calls all the time which which kind of bugs me you'll hear yeah. me complain about it every once in a while like everyone's a blue moon but every time every fucking time if we have one four or five people in a game, it's always well uh, that McCree was doing. I'm like, I saw the McCree, yeah. and then we can play the game, and they'll have like a, have a yeah. thing on they're there. on fire. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so they, 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 they were doing this. No, they're doing stuff. We just fucking ate ass, dude. <laughs> <laughs> we ate ass and swallowed. Um, yeah. So yeah. Uh, it's just all right. Well, I'm not. I'm, I I got some more stuff, but yeah, oh, no, yeah. I, I agree that there's times where our calls they were just like, whoa, that's. Because they don't want to blame anybody else in the call, <laughs> so they oh, there's a they look in the menu. Uh, it's uh, uh, Dick Kicker 42. It was his problem. He was playing as Mercy, Bad Mercy. 
uh, which by the way, every mercy I see in games nowadays are all fantastic. So no, you, you know what? Jeff, it's, it's shout every, out to mercies. It's every mercy on the opposite team that's fucking amazing, and I feel like right. like anyone, okay. even yeah. if it's us or if it's like someone else on our team, we're just, usually when like we're not playing, at... we have we have our designated mercy. Yeah, so that's why. <laughs> and he's on our team, so we can talk to him all the time. Fuck it. Yeah, we talk to him. Really anyway, what yeah, else? Yeah, unfortunately, get? I have a dedicated mercy too, but he likes to play fucking battle mercy and not heal the team. Oh, we have a battle Reinhardt. I, that's me. I'm battle oh, cool. <laughs> Every Ryan Hart is a fucking battle Oh well, yeah. If you're only sitting there shielding, you're not doing half your job. Well, that's fine. If you if you do a little bit of, of the battle stuff, that's yes, fine. You should, of course, like, that be charge yeah. the fuck yeah. in. Charge in. And then oh yeah. Around. I'm behind the shield, oh, and, the and then it's like, let's go charge it for no reason. Charge that motherfucker. Yeah. And then we'll be like, hey, don't put your die. Don't put your shield down. Put the shield down. Five of us get headshot at once. We're like, oh. Yeah, our shield charges shot. in, kills one person, and then we all die, and he thinks he did something. Sorry, your <laughs> head fucking has more HP than our head. Yeah. Uh, Gore, yeah. what else did you get? All right, so there was a, a nice little lot of games, because I like lots, on uh, OfferUp. And this one was really good, because they were all, they were all besides one game, sealed. And you know, you know me, I like my 360 games, so I had to get this. Are you, how close uh, are you to finishing that collection? Oh, no, not even, no. <laughs> I'm like 750 at this point. I think there's like 1300 games. So oh, <laughs> it's like, no, it ain't happening. But um, I'm 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 happy to have what I got. You know, there's some oh, people yeah. that don't have shit. You know, and I'm white. Anyway, little Lucy K for you. <laughs> just... All right, so oh, I got kid with things. Imagine that. Good time. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, I got uh I got some sealed games. The the one I was really happy to get because this is actually worth like sixty bucks sealed, uh, and it's the it's the one that says do not sell before, and that is a uh, Halo three. Nice. Oh, got sealed? That sealed. Hell yeah, got, dude. Got that. Do not sell before nine twenty five oh seven. Oh um, wow. This one that's I think legitimate I'm legitimate then. Yeah, I'm gonna keep this one. I think uh, it's yeah, worth no, like sixty seven cool. bucks, but I think I might keep it. All right, uh, here's here's some other games. Project Selfie, Arc of Deception, it's sealed. Oh, there you go. It's sealed. Whatever. Oh. Amped three. Remember oh, yeah. Amped? <laughs> Remember Amped? Nope. Remember snowboarding games? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Steve. Oh yeah. That SSX came out like tricky. What'd you say? SSX tricky. Yeah, Not that old. came out what 15 years ago. <laughs> Sadly, uh, Madden 08. That's that's garbage. Sealed. This one was actually cool. Gears of War. There you go. Nice. Sealed. I'll probably keep that one. I don't think that's worth much. This one's actually worth like 50 bucks. I'm getting rid of this because I don't give a fuck. Uh, Tenchu Z. Ooh, I might be interested in that. Okay, it has a little uh, mess up here, so I'll sell it for cheaper. Oh, I'll, do you, you. I'll do you a solid. $49. <laughs> Shit. Vampire Rain. Remember this game? Oh, fuck, why? <laughs> that, game, that game's a turd. And then this is the only one that wasn't sealed. Uh, Project Gotham Racing 4. Yeah. There you go. I got that for 20 bucks. I that was pretty good. Yeah, that's a good haul. Yeah, so I got those. I'm probably going to get rid of most of them. I'm not going to lie. I don't really collect sealed things. I'll keep Halo 3, though, I think. And Gears of War. Everything else can fuck off. Um, so uh, that's that's it. That's it. That's all I got. I have another lot coming to me. Like a 22-game lot, but it's not, yeah, I didn't get it yet. I thought I was going to get it today, but I didn't get it. Um, Lots are something I got to work on getting more of. Use OfferUp. OfferUp is great, I think. I mean, you have I to... live in Maine. We don't have no, you can No, you can ship. He, he, Gore gets I get ship. You can ship? Yeah, oh, yeah ship. I get ship. Mm-hmm. Fuck, where's my phone? And you know what's really hey, annoying? Go, there's, a, there's a website, too. You know what's really annoying? I guess they have it so that shipping is automatically on or something like that. I don't I don't sell things on OfferUp, so I don't know if this is true. But I'm assuming it's like automatically set to ship immediately you know like if you put something up on there because there's so many people i'm like hey i want to buy this and they're like sorry i don't ship i'm like you have the shipping right it says shipping yeah every, it's some, um, every... it's, um, it's something you gotta you gotta act, i think you gotta actively turn it off turn it off yeah that's what uh, because uh, like every one out of like three really good deals i don't get because they don't want to ship it and i'm like fuck i don't want to i'm not picking it up you, you live in phoenix arizona you know, i ain't going oh, you, tell me do you I, there <laughs> you live in phoenix arizona i'm only six hours away uh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. We'll make a field trip for like a like a. I go down, okay. there. I go down there a couple times a good deal. Five dollars off this game. I go down there a couple times a year. I'll fuck yeah, I'll do it. <laughs> All right, have fun. Um, I'll let you know next time. Anyway. So, I have it. a lot of stuff in the mail. 
Um, I did, I, don't, I forget if I showed this last week. I don't know if I got this last week. I got the limit, the Amazon exclusive oh, Farrah. Nice. Oh, nice. I know that was a thing, but they make Farrah fucking variants like every fucking Dude, every other week. You know what would be funny if they make the headless Farrah? Oh, I'd fucking it's buy that. God damn, it's just a Funko Pop that. with yeah. no head. Yeah. <laughs> um, I got something today that I was super excited for, but I'm not going to show it off today because... Uh, oh, no spoilers. I'll leave it at that. Uh, okay. So I'll show it off next you. week because that, that's going to be our embargo for fucking spoilers. Yeah, um, Chris spoiler. I'm guessing has to do with Game of Thrones. Well, we'll just not talk about it. No, it's a it's a spoiler for Hellboy. Yeah. No, I don't want to spoil it. It's Ian McShane. It's either that or <laughs> yeah. spoiler. If yeah, I mean, you better go fucking watch it right now. Yeah. Well, no, like oh, I wanted to do a podcast so bad for the movies this week, only so we could talk about Hellboy, because that because it, you know Endgame came out. Uh, what? How did how did how much did it drop? It dropped ninety two percent this weekend. After ninety one percent, huh? I, no, it was 91%. No, it, the first time it dropped like 70%. Then the second time it dropped 91%, but then the, the, the actuals came out. Oh, like the actual number. And it went to that had to be one of the biggest it, drops, right? Well, it, it, yeah. No, yeah. yeah, yeah I'm, I'm going to look at that. Right, right, I, I don't give a fuck. I, wanna look, I hate that movie so much. I am fucking excited to, to look how bad <laughs> that, that movie did. Which but, really uh, have a good discussion because... Because fucking Kyle's trying to talk shit about me saying the, the Sonic trailer is so bad it's good. I thought the fucking Hellboy trailers were good too, so he could fuck right off. The tra- the, well, the second trailer was good. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> first, the first trailer for Hellboy was alright. I, I didn't mind it, but most people did not like it. I was like, eh, it could be fun. <laughs> yeah. It's weird too, because uh, I don't know why they would release that movie. Just period. Um, <laughs> it, sh- it should be on. Yeah, that might be the biggest drop. Is it? That'd be awesome. It it doesn't it hasn't uh I don't know though because it says eighty oh biggest second weekend drops so I'm looking at right now. Oh uh, okay. No oh, no it's the third weekend. I think it's the third week. Well the second weekend it's probably up there too because I think it dropped like seventy seven percent so that's a pretty big. Drop. Uh... To be fair though like the Curse of La Llorona dropped huge like all and pretty much every movie Shazam dropped huge because it's oh Endgame. so I I can't find it right now it might just not have updated but you know what sucks. What? Is that uh Hellboy is number eighty nine? Hellboy two is that number eighty nine on this list? Oh uh, yeah, yeah. I know that drop. You know why that dropped? I think it's because uh, Iron Man came out. Good. I, I like how I uh, Marvel what? just keeps shoving it up Hellboy's ass. I just realized Hellboy was there at the beginning of the Marvel Cinematic Universe and at the end of it. <laughs> so there you go. Because he was there a week, a couple weeks before Iron Man and a couple weeks before Endgame. So good shit. Made sure a Hellboy movie came out for the beginning and no, the end. So, so uh, Hellboy is number eleven on the, the highest number of theater drops. Oh, okay, yeah, um, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, so that's up. There. I think a lot of movies probably are are there now. Yeah, because so, Endgame. So, so this doesn't count, I guess, because of uh, of everything that happened. But like, what happened? What happened to a cure for wellness? Jesus fucking Christ! Nobody wanted to see that. That dropped ninety-seven point eight percent. Jesus, <laughs> that went that went from the theater change had week two had two thousand seven hundred and four theaters week three had eighty eight theaters. <laughs> Holy Jesus shit. Christ! Uh, so that's more for the movie podcast. I'll they talk about. Should solve the, the the cure for fucking money because <laughs> then. They uh, bought, I, I hate Hellboy. Um, fat fat stacks of smoke. <laughs> you you bought you bought a, uh, uh, Dawn of Survivors right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna buy that too right now. We'll play you know what's that. It's weird. You know it's what? weird. It's a two dollar game and it doesn't look very good, but I've actually heard it's pretty good. All right, well I bought it just now, so we'll play that sometime soon. Oh, which reminds me, whenever you guys want to play Gang Beasts, let me know. I took advantage of the dollar for the Xbox Gold deal. Plus, I'll be having to get Xbox Gold anyways for Tekken Seven prep. I, me- so. I messaged you, but you didn't fucking get on because it was two o'clock in the morning your time. But I mean, apparently you're busy. Yeah, at two. Yeah, o'clock. I was just going to bed. All right, well, you, you didn't have fun. Uh, I'm good for the weekend. So yeah, we'll play this weekend 100. Um, yeah, do that. I bought so Ding Dong XL. Some off. Um, huh? I bought Ding Dong XL. I bought Tori Dama Brave Challenge. I don't know what the fuck this game was. It was a couple dollars, but I heard that it was so it was fucking like really weird. It's one of those uh, Golden Week sales. Yeah. Uh, I bought Box Boy and Box Girl. Yeah, I was gonna buy that. I yeah, buy I grabbed I grabbed that because I like Box Boy. Um, on PlayStation, I actually bought the Nonary games and Zero Time to Lamont PS4 because that was super cheap. It still is right now. If you're listening to this right now, you can still grab that. I want to ask you though, 
is should I get Danganronpa on PS Vita or PS4? Because PS4 I played it, uh, depends. Do you have a PlayStation TV? No. I'd get on PS4 then. Because I had one and two on on Vita, and I I, I really enjoyed them on Vita. The first two, I never played the third. I one. don't like the fucking twelve dollars extra it is for PS4. Is it twelve dollars better on PS4? I. I, I never heard it was that much better. I, I know uh, I looked at performances. They apparently run pretty similarly. I mean, the the Vita yeah, one is a little bit smaller. Oh, yeah. but... I mean, Dr. Rumpa is not a uh, very right. That's another reason why. Yeah. I, I was, like I'm kinda just... when you move around, it's barely anything. Like it's like that's why I'm kind of just wanting to get it on Vita just so it could be like one of those. Dude, Dr. Rumpa is so good. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna... I really need. A... You know what turned me off of the third game, uh, David? Did you mm. ever play it? No, Wait. I've been meaning to. It, it, what, did you Did you get turned off because you had to watch the anime also? So when I when I heard you have to watch the anime to understand the full story, I'm like, really? oh, you do really? That's what I heard. Every like, there's an anime for Danganronpa three that does some of the story. You, I guess you technically you don't need to, but if you want to know the entire story, then you do. I mean, you can oh, play the game. Stupid. Yeah, that's what I've heard at least. I don't know. That could be wrong, but that's what I heard. And I was like, oh no. And the anime is like, I think there's like two of them for Danganronpa three. Uh, and they're 13 episodes each, which is okay, um, fine. But look that up. I think there's two of them. I'm also. hearing mixed. I'm reading mixed things on it. The first thing I got. Yeah. One guy. I'm says, sure you can play the game without it, but if you want the full story, then. One guy says uh, it's not necessarily. It's not even a reference to it outside the bonus modes, but I'd recommend you okay. watch. It nevertheless, the other guy goes, "Yes, definitely. Future arcs cover what happens after the first killing game, and yada yada." Yeah, yeah. You uh, may. You might not. The guy after that much. says, "I don't think you need to watch it, but it does tie up arcs." Okay. To be fair, I'd probably watch it anyway if I'm enjoying the first two. Yeah, but I, that's the thing. I was just like, I have to watch an anime before I'm probably gonna, I play I'm gonna the game. I'm going to get it on Vita, though, I think, right now. I have it on Vita, yeah. I have all three of them on Vita right now. So I just need to play the third one. And, ah, oh, that's it. That, let, when we're talking about games that are long, that's a that's a long one. Like, yeah, the, but the second all... game took about 50 hours to beat. Yeah, but that's also a game you could put down and pick up whenever you need to. Oh, yeah, so yeah. That, that's why I'm not... I don't, I don't want to... I don't necessarily equate those because I feel like you're putting so much investment into like a Witcher three, you know, where you have to like sit down and you're like, all right, I gotta dedicate time to this as opposed to, yeah. dang it, Rafa, you can take with you. That's that's what I love about the PS Vita. Like, I mean, Switch does this now, and of course, you know, this, I'm sure iPad does the same thing, and mm. iPad and games did it before that. But when it comes to like Vita being the Vita, it's a Sony thing. It was really cool that you could just suspend the game, turn it off, leave it. Right. Yeah, you know, I guess you could do it with 3DS. Technically, you just like close it but it's still it's still really on right. it, it, for some reason it feels different like the Vita when I turn it off I feel like it's actually like on sleep with low power um, the where 3DS the 3DS takes is, up a lot of fucking power so yeah, like, that's, it'll, that's it'll die thing, in a couple yeah. days yeah yeah, and also like if it dies and that's it but if your PS Vita dies it'll come it, you'll recharge it and I can leave the Vita off for a fucking apocalypse and it's still like hey it's, it's still it's hanging on for dear life but it's like I got yeah. you homie okay, yeah, the yeah. Vita's a good it takes console. a long time we, were talk, we showed that off last week though yeah I don't yeah. know why we shut off our Vitas randomly. Oh yeah, I, actually forgot forgot, I forgot to make make the that thumbnail. thumbnail. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it, it was the middle of end game time, so who the fuck cares? I'll make it the thumbnail for this one. <laughs> there you go. You're not gonna yeah. you're not gonna fish through for that scene for that one screenshot. Yeah, it was at the end. I know it was at the end. All right, I I, I got it. Um, I'll figure cool. it out. Did I get anything else? I don't think I got anything. I ha- I, I, have, I, have I didn't a make a thumbnail though for last week. I, 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 wanna... I have a lot of stuff coming in the mail. So wait, did. What did I make the thumbnail last week? Oh, it was Mortal Kombat. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. All right, I got my cool. plate for thumbnails. It's time for everyone's favorite segment, trivia. Uh, which I realized I said something stupid in our last podcast. I uh, said Takeda was Scorpion Sun. He was actually Kenshi's. I oh, done did you fucked say up. That? Yeah. Oh, okay. No one's corrected me on it. I knew, th- I knew that wasn't. Watches. I, yeah. Well, I knew that wasn't right, but I didn't hear you. I didn't know, I didn't know he was Kenshi's son. Yep. Yeah. Well, as I didn't know, it's that I probably did, and I forgot because I don't care. Okay. <laughs> so, David both. went first last Tiquito. time, so Gore, you're up. Okay. Your singular game from a franchise that you said is Resident Evil 4. Oh, what? You said Resident Evil, so I'm, I'm going to give you just Resident Evil 4. Uh, okay, Quite. that's a bad one. Uh, um, oh, uh... I mean, I like Resident Evil 4 a lot. It's not my You'll get series. one of these. And I only, I only played through it once. So you'll and you'll that get was years one ago. of these. You're going to for sure fuck up two of them then. I'm not going to get any more. So, I'm sure. uh, first question. How many side modes are there in Resident Evil 4? 
Really? All together after 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 unlocks. But is this after PS2? Yes. So okay. it includes all, bo- all bonus modes. This is in Cooper. It's all like all platforms. Hey, like... Are you including the story mode with that too? No bonus or, mode. Or just so bonus not mode. not campaign. Bonus. Okay. Um. Uh, three. Final answer. Sure. You got it. Okay. Okay. Because the... you had mercenaries, you had separate ways, and then you had a. Uh... What's the other one? Simon Ada. I know there was another one. Yeah, I knew there was another one. I forgot what it was called. What is it called? Assignment Ada. Assignment Ada. There you go. Yeah. Separate. No, I'm sorry. Several ways. Is that? That was the PS2 bonus. Yeah, that's PS2. Yeah. Uh, Isn't that what Ada also though? No. But separate ways. Maybe. Maybe. I forget which ones, but there were definitely bonuses later on. Is separate ways. Resident Evil 4 is that a different one. I forget. I gotta look next one because yeah. I remember one of them didn't actually go to the a- HD rendition for whatever yeah. reason. So when you play it on the HD version, it just looks murky as shit, and it really upsets me. All right, yeah. now that's one you're not gonna get. I can promise. If you get this, Jesus Christ, but you're not. All right, go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> What's the name of the main antagonist in Resident Evil 4? Oh, um, well, isn't there like two of them? Uh, well, not I'm main, not but talking, like... and I'm not talking Wesker. Oh yeah, no. no, no. Salazar? Your answer? The, the main antagonist. Well, there's another one. Krauser or whatever. But isn't that like Leon's like, That's his, like army boy yeah. or something he hated? But he's not the main antagonist. Salazar, is that right? I don't know if that's right. I'll just, yes. Final answer? Yeah. I don't know. No, David, can you steal that? Who knows who it is? No, Salazar was the midget, wasn't it? Yep. Fuck yeah. I know oh. this is going to make Adrian cringe, but 4 was like one of the ones I played the least. Uh, uh, me too. <laughs> me too. <laughs> Besides 5 and 6, obviously. I played a shit ton of 5. I, 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 didn't, I don't even think I finished 5 myself. I think I got, like, me and someone was playing it, and we stopped. Five. I hate 5. Well, no, I'm, t- I'm telling you why, because me and him, I forgot who it was. I was playing with somebody, um, and we just stopped playing it at a point, and I wanted to go back to it, and I was like, I don't really want to play this by myself. Uh, so I just, I just watched the rest on, yeah. I just, I, I didn't want to play by myself. I really didn't. And I was, like, really close. I was, like, right before the boulder punching part. It was, like, really yeah, you, right you at the out, end. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I can't well, think no, I didn't miss, that. I didn't miss out. I watched it on YouTube. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> like... Like, right. yeah, like, I think Krauser. I watched. I'm not even gonna lie. I think I watched Dark Side Phil's playthrough. Yeah, Krauser and Salazar would have been my guesses, so I'm not sure. All right, the main antagonist Osman Sadler, who's the I guess, oh Sadler. The... Yeah. Fuck. Yeah, I think, I they, I think it's Salazar Sadler, but yeah, Osman yeah. Sadler. That's it. Yeah, Sadler. All right. Fuck you. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. Okay. Okay. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. Level three. I'm surprised I got that close. Level three. Yeah, yeah. actually, I am too. Uh, yeah. level three. How many platforms total has Resident Evil 4 been released on? That's, that's not fair. <laughs> uh, the toasters okay. count. <laughs> ah. <laughs> All right. So you got I'm gonna GameCube. Give you, I'm going to give you a minute and a half on this one because this, one, this okay, one's a good. fucked up one. All right. We have GameCube, PS2, Wii, uh, PS3, PS4, hold up, hold up. Xbox 60. Oh. I'm just... I'm, oh, you, I'm, can't you, okay. can't... you want me to write them down yeah. for you, though? If you want, go ahead. Yeah, go for it. So I'm going to start it up now. Okay. All right. So PS2, GameCube. You just put like PS2 and GC yeah. or whatever. Um, 360, Xbox One, PS3, PS4, the Steam version. It, does it count both of the Steam versions? The shitty one and the other one? No. Put Steam and PC. Uh, no, it doesn't. I just put Steam then. Um all right, so all the console one, uh, iPhone. There's the iPhone one. Um, so that's what eight at this point. Um, was there a Vita version? I don't think there was. Uh, 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 the Switch version. That's not out yet, but okay, that's fine. That counts. So nine so far. Mm-hmm. 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 Uh, 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 um. No, it was a 3DS version. There was a five, kind of, the Mercenaries. Um, there has to be another one. There's no way just nine times. I know that sounds sad, but there has to be another one. I said we, we. I didn't say we again after. Okay. Uh, okay, so ten. Um, there's no Wii 15 U. 15 seconds. All right. There's no Wii U one because nobody cares. 
Um, iPhone, I said. Steam, I said. Uh, Five, four, three, two, one. Locked in? Ten? Ten. I'll say ten. It's probably All wrong. Right. It's probably eleven or some shit. Watch. I forgot one. Okay, so... I'll, uh... Let's see. There was... Okay, so there's 12. There's 12, okay. There's 12 now. You gotta let him steal it if you can name we'll the last two. Yeah, you can name the last two. Can we list you off everything he listed so far? Yeah, because I kind of okay. lost track halfway through. PS2, 3, 4. Xbox One. GameCube, Wii. Steam. I, Switch. iOS. I, I said... I, all right. I said another one there. Thank you, miss. Yeah, because Gore said 10. Wait, what else did you say, Gore? I said 360 also. 360. I thought, oh, yeah, 360. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Make sure. Uh, so I just helped him. two others that are missed. I'm giving you 30 seconds. There has to be uh, some one on... It's like a fucking iPod Nano well, version or some shit. I was going to say, my guess is if iOS is one, there's bound to be an Android version. You got one of them. Okay, yeah, I wasn't even thinking of that. And then... I'm going to be honest with you guys. I fucked... This is your, this is why it's your level three. It's because this last one, I learned oh, how yeah. I was doing this. Nope. <laughs> well, that right. would be Android, wouldn't it? Technically. Technically, but... Uh, so... <laughs> He here's, it up. here's why it was level three because I literally have never heard about this, but I did my research and I didn't want to give it Engage. to you for that. The Zebo. What? There the was Zeebo. there was this the other console. There was this other console. I looked into it for a little bit. What is a Zebo? It's, <laughs> it's some educational like console. Education that actually has console. that actually oh, has its education. own like set of games on there, and Resident right. Evil has its own version on there. And I looked too. I was looking at video like clips of it to be like, is it not just like some bastardized version? Oh, it is, but it is actually Resident Evil 4, like Zebo edition. What the fuck? Is this like a Japanese only thing? Uh, no. Zebo, how, how do you spell it? Z e e b o. Z e e b o. Zebo, what the fuck is that? Isn't I need that to like see one it. of the fucking monsters from All Real Monsters? I don't know, but it's a new console. They better get it. Zebo sounds like some. Dog shit. Wow, that looks terrible. Yeah, what the hell? This looks like some like GBA shit. It almost kind of reminds me of the fucking uh, Pippin. It looks like the iPhone version. I think this is exactly what it is. They just but took had, the yeah, iPhone. But it has its own, uh, it actually has its own Control, like, set of obviously. games on it, so I had to count it in there. So. And I, I, yeah, that, that's it's a Zebo edition. Get the hell out of here. <laughs> it's the iPhone one. You just so, put it on that, Zebo. I, I, I didn't want to, because that, if, at first when I was putting that question, like, that's like level two, I think. I saw that, I was like, no, that bumps up to level three, because that's fucked up. That's a fucked up question. Zebo. Suck my dick. All right. <laughs> so after Resident Evil. I mean, fair. I didn't even know that thing existed. <laughs> Let alone know. there being a port of it on there. Uh, we, all right. Go ahead. All, all right, right. So now you guys are tied. I got one point, though. Yeah, you guys are tied, so tied, tied right now. Five, five. Right? Five point five. All right, so he has to get everything wrong. And I'm okay. <laughs> or you could steal. Uh, that too. Hey, David, your franchise is Devil May Cry. All right. Uh, I'm not stealing shit. <laughs> oh, no, if he asked me about dates, possibly. <laughs> <laughs> All right, level one. What was the first game to have multiplayer mode? Devil May Cry 3 Special Edition. Final answer? Yes. You that got sounds it. Good. I was gonna say, I know one and two definitely did not have that. <laughs> yeah, that was uh it said this is the only game in the series to have a Suedo multiplayer mode. To do the second player must get a second controller and press start while the first player uses a doppelganger styles after image, or when Virgil joins the fight in Arkham. The second player will control a downgraded Virgil with lesser combos than normal but infinite health. They had that in a DMC four also in the what's it called? Was that training mode thing? Uh, yeah, but it was added in like the special edition. Yeah, it was in the well. special, uh, the Xbox One version and stuff. I think, right? right. Yeah. yeah, I've seen gameplay, but I thought it was cool. I forgot what it's called. They just added it in DMC Five, I think, right? The same mode. I don't think so. No, uh, uh, they haven't really added much to DMC Five. I think the only well, thing they added was Bloody Palace. Yeah, that isn't that what it was in no. DMC Four. No, okay, whatever. So, level two, not including repeats. 
as in same characters from Devil May Cry to DMC, how many total playable characters are there? Dante, Nero, V, Virgil, Gloria slash Trish, uh, Lady. <laughs> Lucia. Lucio. Lucia. <laughs> Lucio. Oh. I think yeah. that's it. I think it's seven. Our answer? Yeah. Nope. Gore, can you steal? Who the fuck did I miss? Lucretia. That's what her name actually is, but. Let me see. Something like that. Because I, I know the characters, the main ones from all these games, but don't, don't you play as somebody else in 4 at one point? Uh, you was... play as oh, Dante and uh, Nero through the main story. Then oh. the DLCs added some of the characters. Oh, are you counting um, Are you counting the reboot also? Because I think, don't you play as somebody at one point in that? All I'm saying I'm is like, I, didn't, I didn't count the repeats. So as in Dante and Devil May yeah, Cry, your same as Dante. Oh, DMC. so you're also including DMC Devil May Cry then? Yeah, the only I'll say eight. I'll is... say eight. Final Fuck. answer? Sure. Yeah, you got it. <laughs> yeah! My so guess is the, the other one? character is from DMC Devil May Cry. Oh, list off your characters again. Dante, Nero, V, Virgil, Trish, Lash, Lady, uh, Lucretia, and uh, Lady. There's Dante, Secretary, Lady, Lucia, Nero, Trish, V, Virgil. They separated those. I'm not sure if, if that's what you did, but either way, you didn't say Secretary. Well, no, Secretary, I'm going to guess that's from DMC Devil May Cry, which is the only one I haven't played because I refuse to play that's that game. Say it's not bad. Uh, Secretary. I don't, I don't even remember I don't that character. Know. I don't know. I'm, just, I'm listening off things from the, the wiki. I've never played Devil May Cry uh, and anything outside of that, so I'm listening off sure the what it says. Can... I'm looking. I'm reading off the wiki, and I'm looking up play, characters' names, playable characters. Secretary. All I took, all I took out was Dante from DMC and Virgil from DMC. What Secretary is, is a minor enemy encountered in Devil May Cry 2. I don't know. Oh, no, that's Lucia. I don't know, man. It's got its own page. Well, you counted eight, right? You counted eight characters. He said yeah. seven. So I still get it. <laughs> Fair enough, but yeah, no. I think you said lady Luch- twice, to be fair. Dante V Nero Virgil. You said uh, slash. Lucia. You said Trish slash Lucia, which that that doesn't. Count. I said Trish slash Gloria, and then Lucia. Okay, so Dante secretary Trish Lady Lucia Nero V Virgil. I don't know who the fuck secretary is, but last unless it's on secretary characters. is Lucia. I still won. So I'm anyway, looking right yeah, at Secretary You said seven, State. I said eight. So. She is Lucia. Give him a half a point. I still said eight. And there's I'm eight characters, right? On this one. But you said you said there's eight, right? but like that's like saying that's like saying Zelda and Sheik are the same person. Yeah, that's, I mean, yeah, that shit doesn't count. They're, they're two different characters, technically. I mean, they're the same person, obviously, but they're two different characters. They play the them. Secretary... No, because Gloria is literally Trish, but the... in this scenario, Secretary is also literally Lucia. The Secretary becomes a playable character after clearing Lucia must die mode. However, much like Trish in both Dante and Lucia's discs, she does not appear in any in-game cutscene when played as. She has access to all the same equipment as Lucia. Yeah, so it's be- that's a different character. It is a different character. That's Bear, a different character. Whatever. Yeah, that's a different character. Well, I mean, Literally, to be fair, to be no, fair there's, I, I there's other if, games out there that, like, when you play as a different character, but they're the same. Yeah, no, like, that doesn't count. Yeah, fair. All right. Like Resident Evil 5. Be a, be a better player. You know? Shiva, it's the same shit, isn't it? Like, I'll fucking stab you, Adrian. I win! <laughs> <laughs> All right, level three. I got screwed over last I year. say you should have only gone that point if you could have fucking guessed the character. But whatever. Secretary. I was going to say secretary. Yeah, right. <laughs> of course. You fucking nerd. <laughs> My favorite character from <laughs> Devil May Cry 2. <laughs> the worst the game wor- in the series. Yeah, easily. And I don't give All a right. fuck what you say about the reboot. <laughs> it was like... Now, level three. I'm going to give you a minute. All right. Let's put this on here now before I do this. All right. The special edition of DMC4 on PS4, what does that have exclusive to it? What can it do differently? Oh. 
Fuck. Uh, I have the PC version. <laughs> I, don't um, I don't think anybody's getting a point. Level three for a reason, brother. Gonna say co op. Final answer? Yeah. Nope. All right, Gore. Yeah. I think that was on Xbox also. Yeah. Um, it's got... exclusive to the PS4. You can play as Kratos. No, no. <laughs> uh, Kratos may cry. It's probably something like that, though. Like you could play as a particular character. Uh, I'm gonna say you could play as a. Let me give you the question again. Sure. Go, go ahead. Yeah. The special edition of the PS4 version of DMC4. What does it do differently? Oh, what does it do differently? Um, it ha- you, you use a dual shock. Final answer? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the exactly. final answer. <laughs> um, was it too differently? It's a it's the same game. It doesn't do anything different unless it has additional stuff in it, which wouldn't be what it does differently. It just has extra 15 shit. Fifteen seconds. It. I, I, I don't know. Is there a, a go kart section? What the fuck? Uh, no, no. Uh. You could play as you can play as additional kick. I don't know. Uh, you, uh it has trophies. <laughs> you can play with a dual shock. <laughs> it sucks. No answer. What's your, what's your answer? Um, you uh, there's a new character. I don't know. There's a new additional mode where you can blow Dante. I don't know. <laughs> so, no. You're gonna, you're, gonna, you're gonna hate me for this answer. <laughs> Is it just dual shock? If it's that... dual sh- I'm going to say DualShock, though. No, I'm going to say something stupid like it uses the fucking PlayStation streaming bullshit or something like that. No, you're, probably... you're, getting, you're getting close. Oh, uh, uh, 60 frames. No. no 80, 100 frames. No, the, the answer I was looking for frames. is the color bar on the controller changes as you play as you change your playable character. Oh, fuck. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> I was close. Wait, that means I was... That is the you were close. Play PlayStation games. Get out of here with that bullshit. Am I, am I wrong? Am I wrong? I'm not. No, but fuck I hate you, you so much. Uh, welcome to level three. Ah, bitches. That's, I mean, not even dumb, ah, that's not even Devil May Cry trivia. That's fucking... Ah. So here, yeah, here's was... here's what I'm going to... I'm going to change the... Uh, I, I'm thinking of some new ideas for this uh, this last week. So here's what I'm thinking. Is, well, uh, I want... We're, I'm thinking of one of two things. Is we change, it, we change it that if you get a hint, you're allowed to use a hint, but you get half a point. But let's say it's David's question. He asks for a hint, gets half a point. You have, you still have the ability to get the full point with that hint, but you can also use another hint on top of there to break it down, <laughs> down to a point half. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So I'm thinking we do that. And what I'm also thinking is you want to, um, I want to think of something to do with the timer. Okay. So. Like, for example, if there's some question that really fucks you over and, like, you're like, oh, I'm not going to know. And instead of spending the whole minute on it, answer a guess quickly. And I'm going I'm to think of the format of this, but answer the qu- guess quick- quickly. That way, the other person gets less time to think about it. The faster you answer, the less time they have to think about it. The longer you take, the longer they have to take- think about it. Okay. I you get know you. what I'm saying? Yeah, so but I'm once like, if you take the entire time, then, then they how get much the, do... they get, yeah, they get the exact time, get too. The full time, too? Yeah. Okay, but if you if you like if it's like some question really, like you if, if it's you like, guess like in the first five seconds and they get like less time I, I, I would say probably we have, to, we have to give them some time you know so I'd say like yeah, yeah, fifteen know, seconds no, is like minimum seconds, something really. like that you know they eat minimum fifteen seconds but I mean if you answer right away they get fifteen seconds only you know because I'm thinking of like that like the screw and in, in Jack Jack Attack right you know how when you do that they got like five seconds to answer something yeah, five I'm thinking answer. we do something like that so I'm I'm gonna I'm I'm mess around with that but we'll probably come with some new rules next week so uh, stay it's tuned. Tied. Until then, we are tied at six and a half points each. Back at it, bitch. <laughs> it's always like, it's always, it goes this way. One person's winning a week, tie it up. Yep. Next week, <laughs> someone's winning that week, tie it up. Yep. So, uh, thanks, Capcom. Yeah, and also, each week someone's going to get some bullshit-ass questions. So, uh, this I, time, it's, it's, it's time, Mine was bullshit. Yeah, Dude, this time both you, you guys got some bullshit questions. You talked about your DMC one, but come on. I got Debo? <laughs> like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> <Fair>. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so I'm still a point ahead. I got some bullshit matters. ones last week. Oh, too. you're tied. Oh, we're tied. That's right. Yeah, because yeah. he stole one. That's yeah, a bullshit so. la- last fucking week with Dark Con. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> hey, hey, I'm sorry. It's the boss <laughs> of the fucking game. A game I haven't played in 11 years that nobody remembers, and you can't even play as him. So. 
<laughs> hey, you, you got you got pretty close to Salazar on there with. Uh, yeah, with I, I was surprised surprise. with that. I remember. I remember. I don't remember Sadler. I remember. I, 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 do, remember, I, remember I don't remember. I don't remember. Oh, is he in like the cloak? Yeah. He's like in a cloak. Okay, I do remember. He turns that, that giant eye not, at the end. What, yeah, he's at the yeah, but dude, like all the other villains are way better. Like even though what's his name? The Krauser. dude you fight in the ha- first half. Krauser. What's his name? No, not Krauser. Uh, what's his name? He's a, he's like a, the beard beard. He turns into like a like yeah, a. I know what you're talking like, about. Uh, like a centipede monster. Like, John. The, huh? John. Oh, John, of course. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> of course. Uh, um, all right. Cool. So. Oh, was... no. It was it was Jeff from the Overwatch team. He was saying, tell me a new <laughs> Jeff, update. Jeff, <laughs> Jeff, Jeff. Jeff. All right. So that was that was uh, hey, trivia. Leon is Jeff from the Overwatch team. We're going to go into news now. Okay. We have a lot of news. <laughs> a lot of stuff that's going to be kind of quick. Okay. Um, so let's go with the quick ones right now. So Capcom Esports takes off under new company brand. This is all you, David. I don't know what the fuck. Yeah, so Capcom trying to rev up um, the esports market for themselves. Uh, probably also not wanting to rely specifically on events like Evo. Uh, they're going ahead and rebranding themselves to have a dedicated media team for their esports division, likely to go ahead and do something along the lines of what Tekken has done and what Dead or Alive have done with their own e-leagues. Uh, so just kind of an interesting little thing to note, not much to say on it. I kind of expect a lot of bigger fighting game-based companies to do something like this. Mortal Kombat has their own dedicated league. Dragon Ball Fighter Z has one. Uh, so it's only kind of natural. Dragon Ball Fighter is also peculiar in how they handle that. because Yeah, it, they seem to can't make up their minds if they want it to be community supported or not. And that really bothers me uh, because it's rumor, but uh, there's a lot of suspicion. That's part of the reason why it's not going to be main event night for Evo this year is because they kind of pulled a lot of privileges for streaming rights on that again, because they've done that with several other tournaments. We're just suddenly out of the blue. Nope. Your tournament can't stream this. And a big event on national television that potentially could have been something Bandai Namco was like, hey, sorry, we just we can't do that. It's not going to happen. Well, Welp. Um, I, I'd hope so, because fighting games get a lot less money versus fucking everything else. But we'll see. I hope so. Um, Me too. You know, fighting games fucking Smash Ultimate sold fucking nuts. 13 um, million copies. 14 million the, copies of Smash Ultimate, making it the best Or like a, a third of a Call of Duty game. Just kidding. Meaning like, like <laughs> a fucking fifth of GTA. Um, like, a, like a fifth of GTA for that month. God, you know when they release GTA 5 on Switch, it's going to keep selling more and more. Dude, Mortal Kombat 11 looks barfy. I can only imagine how bad fucking GTA 5 looks. Yeah, people, people still Switch. buy it, though. Like, no one's going to give a fuck. Dude, it's going to look like it look, it'll look like Resident Evil on the Zebo. <laughs> like, um, woo. Yeah, so... Zebo. I want I want to see what a Zebo looks like now. Well, watch, is... watch. Someone timestamp this we'll and save it. Someone, <laughs> we'll and someday, one of us is going <laughs> to show up. I don't want, I don't want it to spoil yeah, it either. Zeebo. I don't want one of us to spoil it. If one of us gets a Zebo, surprise us and just say, all right, what else you got? I oh, don't know. I just fucking got a Zebo. <laughs> <laughs> I want to, you know, hold up. How much, how much are they going for on eBay? That's already what I'm zero. doing, actually. <laughs> Zebos go for zero. Holy <laughs> fuck, they go for a bit. Uh, complete in box one is 460. You suck up. That was less than Xbox ass. One at launch. You know what I'm saying? Zebo. And that's actually the only listing I found for yeah, it. I think you need, I think you need to get it, David. Yeah, man. For, it, for you don't have this I have con- a couple. I genuinely have a couple other more obscure consoles I'm wanting to get. More obscure? Not. You just fucking learned about this right Zeebo. now. <laughs> Dude, that's like the holy grail of what the fuck is that? <laughs> no, because there's a VCR video game console I've been wanting to get called Action Max. But hey, but, but this uh-huh. one's available right now. And it's the only one available on eBay. Yo, even Angry Video Game never want to do that. There's a $3 off coupon right now. Dude, yeah, but I'm thinking, of, like, let me pull up my eBay wish shit. list here. So pulling up my eBay wish list for things that I could get, I could get a Casio Loopy, I and that's only 150 for, oh, around for a Casio Loopy. Oh, I still want to get a PC FX, and that's still going for only around 170. I still need to add to my collection an Atari Lynx 2, which those only go for 200. Uh, How many other times are you going to be able to buy a Zebo on eBay? 
seem good. I'm sure I'll find it eventually. Hold up. I'm yeah, going gonna, gonna to look, look up when was the last. No, these are only available in Mexico and Brazil. Oh. Oh, wow. <laughs> All right. Wow, that's even more obscure. Oh, maybe does Zebo mean something in the in Mexico? I mean, it's fine. It means switch. <laughs> I'll add it to my watch list, but I'm definitely not getting it anytime soon. For the record, wait, wait, wait. let's see. Hold up. Um, I'm looking up sold listings. There's not been a Zebo available on eBay for a while, David. Uh, here, let me pull up uh, price charting. My uh, my wallet. <laughs> let me pull up my. <laughs> <laughs> Adrian is, knows that I won't hesitate to do that if I really want something. I know. <laughs> uh, yeah, price less... charting doesn't even have uh, recent sales information for a Zebo. So uh, we might have just come across it the one time that's available right now. Zebo with the box. Wait, 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 hold on. Here's a question. You can always resell it too in case you really want it. How did you it? even find this? Because nobody even knows what a Zebo is. How did you even find, like, is it on Resident Evil 4's wiki? I went to it Wiki, says yeah, it, and I looked at platforms. I counted, I was like, what the fuck's a Zebo? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a misspelling, obviously. That's All right, the up. only, I might get it only if I can find a copy of the Resident Evil 4. <laughs> no, the, the network's oh, down. Oh, is it digital? Yeah, I yeah think the, it's digital. the network's gone. It's like, that thing is like. Oh, it's digital only? Yeah, like. But so. it, it comes with the games installed in it already, but that thing is like, but look, it, all, it has the box, man. It's got the box. That kills my interest <laughs> in it immediately. Really? Uh, I, yeah, if it's like digital, digital remember? only, I have no interest in it. But it's, Come no, on, it's man. The console he wants, you want, he wants a wall filled with Zebo. <laughs> Zebo wall. I don't know. That, that, it's, it's about the console, not <laughs> What would the you're, you're cases for the games in. look like? They look like Engage cases, I bet. Like these little small shitty ones. I mean, for that same price, I can get myself a fucking Pippin and you get, get you physical can mod, games. You can, so you can get a system. shitty car for that price. Oh, look. You can mod the system, David. Yeah, oh, yeah, there you go. I don't know how, but... It says you can mod the system, and in, you can install the entire Zebo library into it. That's like at least 10 games. <laughs> no, there's actually a, like, a good chunk amount of games I, I was looking up. 12. Let me see. Well, if they got Resident Evil, I mean, come on. They got to have to have Halo, right? Halo's it's in my wish list. I'll, I'll keep I, an eye on it. When are you going to see it again? <laughs> You Come have on, no man. idea how much that's actually bugging me when you keep saying that. It's uh, the last one. You could be Double the dragons on here. Zebo. Double dragons. You ever thought? You ever thought your life was too boring and pathetic? Well, I got a thing for you. Buy a Zebo. See, no, and see, here's the thing. Here's the. I know you. I know how you work because you work how I work. Where it's, I don't give a fuck about something, but if I'm like, oh, there's one left and it hasn't been available in a long time, and this might be the only time I get it, I'm like, I'm gonna buy it. Why do you think I bought Amiibo? I, mean, I talked about that last week. Yeah, you're you're a smash cook too. So no, I'm wrong. gonna be slightly. Uh, no, I'm gonna hold off. I don't know, man. The only reason why I'm gonna hold off is it. because where I am gonna do Evo this year, I need to make sure I have money set aside for when I do. You can bring shit. your Zemo with you. You can. No, apply, you I should can... have money set aside so that way when I see another seven hundred dollar fight, I'm like, yeah, fuck it, why not? But you know what? Everybody's rocking seven hundred dollar fight sticks. But you Ooh, got actually Zeebo. wait, no, you got that Zemo, baby. Wait, no, shit, my bonus check is this month. Oh, I think he says boner. <laughs> maybe. Depending on how well boner. my bonus check is, maybe I'll get it. There's a lot of people boner. watching it, David. Yep. Watching. Yep. Cuck them. I don't watch Because I'm torn. Because as soon as I just remember that I get a bonus check this month, I'm like, shit. But also the Wonder Witch. I've been wanting to pick that up for a while. <laughs> the Wonder Witch? <laughs> That sounds. That sounds like that's probably like a mail order and bride. Uh, the Wonder Witch is like the only way to get uh, homebrew onto a Wonder Swan. But here, here's the uh, thing, though, David. I, I looked up Wonder Witch on here right now. The, they're talking about the development kit, right? Yeah, fifty of them. There's a lot of them. Yeah, there, there's. I'm counting at least. You know how many Zebos are there right are? now? How many Zebos are there, Adrian? One. And let me go back. Hold on, I want Adrian. Let me, let me, I, want yeah, Adrian hold on. <laughs> I want you to go fuck yourself, Gore. <laughs> Maybe I will if you buy a Zebo. Oh, you can buy the dust cover for twenty bucks, <laughs> dude. <laughs> you can rock your fucking thing out and not even worry about the dust. <laughs> rock, rock out your Zebo. <laughs> you can buy Zebo controller bags. Yo, rock out your Zebo out, bro. I'm gonna. I, I really. I'm curious. I really want to look up and see like what other games are in Zeebo. there because that might be the the sell point. That is a selling point because there is actually before. genuinely some games I want to get for the PC FX, uh, and that's a console I've been wanting there, to get. Uh, so there's um, 
<laughs> the, it lists off Zebo Extreme. I don't know if that's the thing it comes oh, with. Yeah. Zebo Extreme Baja. Zebo Extreme Boy. All right, now it sounds like soda. <laughs> it's like Zebo Extreme. So Baja. yeah, Zebo Extreme Aqua Ride, Zebo Extreme Air Race, Zebo Extreme Jetboard, and Zebo Extreme Roll Man. Roll Man. Roll Man. A rule. Oh, hey, hey, David, this has Tekken. You can get Tekken 2 on the Zebo. Dude. Look at his face. Look at his face. Dude, there you go. Zebo. Hold on. Hold on. I'm going to look up Tekken 2. Tekken 2. <laughs> Gameplay right Tekken now. Tekken 2 Zebo. Damn it. Dude, I bet. You know what? I hey, you know I'm what? Gonna... Take take this fucking Zebo. Install it. Like, mod in Tekken 2 and take it to Evo and money match people on that shit. You'll get yeah. paid off for it in a second. It'd be like everybody's rocking with their switches out, playing Smash, but you're right there with your Zebo, looking like the cool kid. You're gonna make Zebo popular again. Fuck, I may have that when my bonus check comes in. Zebo, <sighs> baby. How reputable is the seller? Let me double check. They got a lot of really good um, ratings. He's rep. I, I, can, I can, dude. That box is great. I don't know, man. I might buy it. 99.5% positive feedback. It's going to take a month to get to you because it's fucking from Brazil. Oh, for, sure. know, for some reason, this whole time, I thought it was a portable system. No, <laughs> it's, it's a console, it's baby. A it's a oh, console, baby. All right. Well, that sucks. You can't bring it with you. But you know you what? You bring it with you. You can still bring it. You can bring the box. <laughs> Show it off. Look what I got. What you got, fam? I'll see how well my phone Like, it's a one-year goes. protection plan. <laughs> I don't know why. When you said they were like you could play Resident, wait, all right, hold on. Yeah, no, no. Now you <laughs> so see you why it's awesome. IP yeah. Pod version of Resident, <laughs> dude. That's a great deal. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I'll see how well my bonus check looks. We'll talk. We'll bring this. We'll bring it up it. again at the end of the podcast. So next stay, week. Stay tuned to the end of the podcast. Right next to him. <laughs> stay tuned. Stay tuned to the end of the podcast. Where we got we got to tempt, <laughs> tempt David a little bit more by the end of the podcast. Yep. All right. Free shipping. <laughs> I fucking hope so. If you're Dude. if you're willing to spend forty or more dollars, you can do the payment plan. Actually, I can't say that because when I got my prototype cartridge for uh, Devil Children Ice Book, uh, that wasn't free shipping. But you hear me, David? Huh? If you're willing yeah, to spend forty more dollars on it, you can do the payment plan. Break it down to forty dollars for the next twelve months. It'd be funny if it's someone bought it right. That's right. a hell of a fucking markup. Well, I mean, you don't want to pay for it right now. Yeah, you could just pay like fifty dollars a month or something, right? Or something like that. Or forty two dollars a month. Twelve point nine nine percent. Forty two dollars a month for twelve months with PayPal credit. Come on. Yeah. That's like a that's like half your bonus, right? Actually a that's month. only forty dollars markup. They're yeah, he said that. That's pretty good. Come on, man. You have to open a PayPal credit. I don't know if you have that, right? No, but they keep wanting to try and get me one on. But right. well, maybe we got you. I don't know. If, I don't <laughs> know if I want to we'll talk about this. The, we'll talk about that. It's gonna break his heart if we hit the end of the podcast. It's sold. Watch. Yeah, I'm sure it'll sell. <laughs> it's the only. Everybody's one, man. watching it. Just no, you know, everybody's just watching it to see if it ever sells. <laughs> <laughs> like that'll be the day they all like. We'll, like, we'll bring it back up at the end. All right. Um, all right. So. And also, we speaking of obscure ass shit. So the Amico and Television are gonna have a brand new Earthworm Jim, which is not gonna be played by anyone. Yeah. So the Amico uh, and Television was revealed at uh, the tail end of last year as a brand new console that looks like basically they try to keep with the Intellivision's design, which for some ungodly reason I don't understand. I get it. It's kitschy. It's what people remember from the Intellivision. But the more modern-looking version of this console basically looks like you have two iPod shuffles fucking strapped to a goddamn brick. And it's got 20 exclusive games to it, which one of those exclusive games was revealed today as the brand new Earthworm Jim. So I think it was actually just last week we were talking about, man, wouldn't it be great if we had a new Earthworm Jim? Well, fucking monkey's yeah, paw, guys. That. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody said he was thinking that as brain. <laughs> no, oh, I've been wanting one. because you, know, you know who also agrees with you? Sam. <laughs> I was <laughs> saving Sam them, people. Earthworm Jim. <laughs> <laughs> 10 out of 10. Groovy. You know what? Wait, hold on. Here's a question. Is Tommy Tellerico doing the soundtrack? Right now. Uh, it has not been confirmed yet. I, I he did the original. I totally so. doubt it. Dude, if they got him, that'd be amazing. <laughs> um, yeah, so one yeah. of their first exclusives revealed is the brand new Earthworm Jim, and that fucking sinks my heart because now I'm going to have to buy that fucking console. And The Last Guardian 2. 
That's the other one. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Finally. Um, uh, so, so we yeah, had the big. Kingdom Hearts 3 Remind DLC announced. I, I played Kingdom Hearts 3. I don't fucking know. Is, is it prominent? Rem- uh, yeah, so basically this is kind of like what they used to do back in the day before the days of DLC is this is like their remix DLC uh, or final plus DLC uh, where it's going to be a whole new little extra story bit. There's going to be a brand new secret boss in it, a few other little side missions and stories to go along with it. Uh, I beat the game on the hardest difficulty. Well, originally the hardest difficulty, they just released critical mode as free DLC, which nah, I might go through and try that again at some point. But okay game overall um but it'll be interesting to see what they do with the remind dlc if only just because where they left the game off at especially if you got the secret ending in the game um it it's hard to go into without going into spoilers but they set it up where one character is definitely dead they are fucking dead as hell and it's an interesting thing to see if this DLC is going to follow up on that and then lead into when we see it 15 years from now, Kingdom Hearts 4, or if this is going to follow some of the other side characters. I can't wait. Can't wait 15 years from now. And like, what's his name that voices uh, Sora is like in his 40s at this point? Uh, like, Haley oh boy, Goofy! He's just still hanging out with Goofy and Donald. Uh, that kid's balls will never drop. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Dude, that guy—I I saw him in a movie recently, and he sounded like a like a like a regular human man. Uh, but and then I hear these trailers, and I'm like, Jesus! He's still like, Golly, I'm sore. I'm like, All right, <laughs> I guess he still got it. But like in, in movies recently, I forgot his name. Haley Joel Osment. Yeah, Haley Joel Osment. Yeah, yeah. Six Sense Boy. But um, yeah, he was a. You sound like a man. Anyway, that's cool. So Sora's dead. That's good. Speaking of dead. I'm just reading. Yeah. <laughs> I will never play Kingdom Hearts ever. Speaking of dead, Rocket I'll League's leaving Steam. Yeah. It's going to the Epic Games Store? Yep. They Epic Games bought the company. Yep. And they're like, They're yeah, going to nope. buy a, Dude, imagine this. Next year, E3 press conference just for Epic. They're going to have one. I'm <laughs> Epic Store room. exclusive E3. Yeah. I'm telling you right now, they're going to have one next year. That That's totally going to happen. Not even joking. And if they had enough studios this year, they would probably do it this year, but they don't. They only have that. And then they buy someone else. I thought they did. Um, yeah. The fuck was it? They bought uh, somebody. No, else, right? uh, no, I was thinking of Firewatch guys for a second. Okay. No. All right. Well, screw it. But uh, they, they have buddy, their buddy buddy with a lot of the companies now, they're like Metro. And of course, uh, what was the most recent one that we just talked about? That's coming. Uh, Borderlands, stuff like yeah, that. That's also, so they could e- they could easily have their own E3 if they want. You know. I mean, well, not well. I, you know what? Hey, I will I will be happy for more E3 press conferences. I will watch those for weeks. I don't give a shit. And, uh, well, besides the PC gaming show, I want to we'll never watch. EA, I'll watch. I always watch it. So, I mean, I mean, I won't like it, but PC gaming show goes on way too long. That's why I won't watch that one. That's like a four hour thing where they just sit down. Well, so tell me what's a new character next come. Like, I'm, I don't care. Like, like well, let's tell you the new processing power chip. Or I'm like, I don't what? Like, what did you just show it? I'm like, I don't care. But uh, I anyway, that's cool that uh, right. Rocket League's going to Epic Game Store because I just like seeing Steam users upset. See, speaking of upset, Persona 5 S got announced. Yeah, I'm fucking excited. Shut your mouth. <laughs> I'm genuinely excited. Fuck you. You know what? No, no, no. I'm okay with it not being a Switch version, but why is it? Of all the games... A Dinosaur's game. A, Mu- a Mushu? 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 Fuck yeah. Whatever. Another another one. A Hyrule Warriors. A fucking, fucking keep uh, them Dragon coming. Quest one. Keep we had a Fire Emblem one. Why Why Persona? What? Keep them coming. I'm why? I'm fucking excited. You're a bunch of brain-dead morons. Like, really? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, the only way... I, I will agree I on a level of why Persona I wish it would have been Megami Tensei as a whole, but oh fuck yeah, God. I'll still take it regardless. Give what me co-op. Like this? Mm, done. Happy. Oh my God. I just want to choke everyone. Like, this is like, I'm just kidding. A good reaction is watching Gores. He just like watches like, oh, is that a Musho game? Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> because, the, the, I mean, they never promised it was a Switch game, but they Don't knew what they, they were, were doing. doing. Yeah, exactly. Well, technically, they, they did. It, it was a Switch game. 
It's coming yeah, to Switch. It, it's, yeah, but it's also on PS4. And, isn't it also on Xbox, you said? Nope. No. Switch no, PS4. PS4. Okay. Well, I mean, uh, I'm, I'll probably they knew what they were doing. And watch. But that upsets me. It really does. Because, like, of all the games, like, if they came out and said, here's a new action RPG. Whoa, that's cool. A fucking Mushu game. That's not an RPG. That's nothing. That's just go around, hit the same dumbass looking creatures you fought in Persona 5. Except this time you just press the X or, I guess, square button. Or, uh, I guess, Y for Switch. Whatever. Um, that's all you do with these games. Like, that's it. That's all you do. You just press the same button. And they all just, like, stand there. And you just yeah, beat the shit out of them. Like, it's just, easy or difficult to th- use. I, those are fun. I get it. But why is every fucking franchise now doing it? Even Nintendo's every like, franchise needs sell it. out our Zelda. Here go. Like, no, give me Final sell Fantasy out Fire Emblem. Give me Pokemon. fucking... Give me Pokemon. Ah, just I'm, put every franchise in that game format and I'm a happy camper. And make it co-op. <laughs> the, the biggest thing that I've been pissed off with those side games is that a good chunk of them have not had co-op on them. Like, Berserk and the Band of the Hawk had no co-op. Uh, All-Stars had no co-op. And that pissed me the fuck off. That is one of my favorite go-to co-op games to just sit down with a buddy that's like, yeah, let's just fuck shit up. I'm, I'm excited. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> I just, you know... I, just, I don't know. This makes it easier the for game me. game I I'm know like, that's good. Now I'm like, for sure. Because the Royal comes out next year. I'm like, fuck that. I'm not waiting next year. So I'm just going to play it all I'm the summer. Sure. At E3, I'm sure Nintendo will be like, boom, Switch version or something like that. But right now, I know it's... Right now, at least, I know it's not happening. That's At least that's how I feel. I know it's not. It ain't going to happen. Why, though? Like, that's the perfect game for the Switch. Because Dude, why would they do that Switch? when Megami Tensei V is coming out? Fuck Shin Megami Tensei V. The, no Go one, fuck yourself. The, the no. most basic fans who are just getting started are, do not know Shin Megami Tensei. They know Persona. They don't even know that's a part of the same series. That's why they cut the fucking Shin Megami Tensei part out. I mean, of to be stuff. fair, they don't even know that the first three games are real. They think they're fan made. So whatever. Yeah, but, but either way, like if you want, <laughs> there's a lot like, of dumb people out there like, too. It, it's it'd be super smart to just port that shit over because. Dude, oh, I have no doubt it'd be, it'd be print money. But... To, to port over the PS Vita game over the PS the Persona Four over Four to freaking for Switch, yeah, Persona Four Golden. I have oh, it right yeah, here. Dude, you know what? Honestly, if they did do that, I would love for them to do Make it a of like game. an anthology series. Make Just go ahead, game. bring Persona. <laughs> One, two, 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 three, four, and five as a big Wait, collection. Wait, what the fuck you just say? <laughs> two, two? Because well, uh, Persona Two is a duology. There are two Persona Two games. Okay, I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah there's uh, Eternal Sin and our uh, Innocent Sin and Eternal Punishment. Eternal Sin and Innocent Punishment. Okay, got it. I said the other. Speaking of Eternal yeah. Punishment, <laughs> Borderlands has microtransactions, but like they didn't for a second. It felt like. So, uh, Randy Pitchford is taking it up the ass lately, just on Twitter, because, like, he's just not getting the good end of the stick at all. Well, like, they just did the reveal thing today. I watched it all. So, you see what happened, though? It, it, I feel bad for Randy. So, what happened is, uh, he said, they were asking about microtransactions, like, there's no microtransactions. He said that. a thing. substantial effect. Something like that, he said. Well, Meaning they have that, the shift codes, right? And stuff well, like that. That, but I think they meant that it was, like, there's microtransactions for, like, co- cosmetics and stuff, I think. But uh, okay. Game Informer, I think, took it out of context, said there's no microtransactions, and then just cut that. And then people... In the are... reveal... No, it, it, that, he right. can't say no, that, because so... in, the, in the reveal event, he said there's no microtransactions, and that's it. That's all he said. So, right. so even some... if Game Informer did that, he also did it to himself. So something's going on. I, I, I gotta look more into it, because I, I, I found... Oh, it's maybe, maybe I missed him mumble, like, uh, for, uh, for, like, weapons and stuff. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta look back, because I saw this, like, before the, we, we started recording, but... um. Because it, it, he said that, and then everybody started cheering. I'm like, oh, he better be right. Because I thought I thought Borderlands mm-hmm. 2 where he had the shift yeah, code. Thing. He, he, uh, yeah, like, oh, definitely has shift codes. But, I mean, he's also um, doing a lot of damage control. Like, really upset on Twitter. Because, like, he's like, we, we worked really hard to, like, not make this, like, a loot box thing. But then I can't say loot box. I'm like, you know, probably for the best, just cut that shit out altogether. I think now, I think I think y'all might have fucked up and just, should just cut it out. Yeah. Well, one thing that's weird, though, is that... Um, uh, oh, I forgot what I was going to say. Yeah, fuck it. <laughs> Never mind. Continue. I'll, I'll, I'll remember. I'll remember. I watched the whole event, and I thought it was really good, but him saying that felt really odd, like, him coming out, because it was like during, like, they were transitioning to a different part of the reveal. He was like, yeah, there's no tr- microtransactions. 
I was like, I thought the other games, and not the other games, but I thought Borderlands 2 had like the shift codes or something. And I thought you could buy them and you could use those codes to, or not even the codes, but you could buy like golden keys for loot boxes, like the golden chest boxes that you get you like really good weapons. Uh, and I, I know they give them away pretty. They, pretty like, they do it a lot. Yeah, because I started Borderlands 1 and I had like 80 keys. I was like, whoa. And that's just because I played a lot of Borderlands 2, I'm assuming. Um, so I was like, whoa, all right. I just got one for, I guess, maybe you logging in or something game, like that. Right? Borderlands 1, yeah. I mean, I beat it back when it first came yeah, out. I beat it I'm going to start that this next week, though, if you want to. Yeah, yeah, I'll play. I'll, 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 I'll switch to a different character. Yeah, I'm going to play next week. But, uh, yeah, that a... sucks. But uh, they, need to, they need to fix their shit with that because that, that kind of that blows. Yeah. Um, I forgot what I was going to say. I was going to say something, but whatever. Oh, oh, that's what I was going to say. Well, it's just it's weird that everybody's calling Randy a liar now, like if that's a surprise. Because, I mean, I like Randy Pitchford, but he's he, he's like the Peter Molyneux of uh, Gearbox because he sits there and lies about his games all the time. Like Battleborn, he lied about uh, Aliens. Yeah, Mar- no, Alien is Dude, the most Alien yeah. example. He commentated over a game a gameplay. Remember that gameplay that looked really good? He was like, yeah, uh, the Aliens are, have a dynamic uh, AI and they uh, adapt to the circumstance. And then they're like, oh, you can go into the power loader. I'm like, you can't do any of this when the game comes in. And it looked way better. Better. Right, uh, yeah. like characters I, are completely different. And I was like months before the game came out. I was like, "What the it fuck?" It sucks because he he's a pretty charismatic guy. He looks he, looks he cool, is, but like he he's one of those guys. That I'd be like, just move him out of the spotlight. Do do a Sean Murray thing on him, just hide him for a while. Yeah, I guess and, they kind of did that between Battleborn and this because I yeah, haven't seen not, him not, in the last not couple enough. years. And Battleborn, I mean, he it's not that he lied. It was it was more like he was so like, oh, this this is gonna be like the the next big thing and they released it two weeks before overwatch i was like wait what are yeah. you what are you doing the, the beta was still out for overwatch people were playing that more than fucking battleborn like say what you will i still enjoyed battleborn yeah yeah i mean i i didn't hate the the beta that i played i was like eh, no. i liked it enough i guess it was it was perfectly fine but overwatch was like whoa this is the next big thing i'm gonna be playing this a lot i knew immediately that was gonna be like the next thing um and I, I was happy just to get into a Blizzard thing day one, because usually that never happens <laughs> with me. I was just like, Diablo 3 had to wait until it was on freaking consoles, because I didn't have a good PC at the time. Anyway, and also it didn't work. So anyway, go ahead. Fair. Next topic. Um, that's, that's something to say. So, uh, oh, wait, do we even talk about, we didn't really talk about Epic in general taking taking shit away. Oh, oh, yeah. Well, I mean, we kind of talked about no, you just look. got hyped up thinking about this fake E3 thing that would happen for Epic. <laughs> it's gonna happen. I'm telling you, it's gonna happen next year. Um, it's totally gonna happen. I, I mean, come on. It, it it sucks taking a game away from Steam, right? On one hand, but and I, I and it, it's funny because whenever you vocalize an opinion of, that that you want developers to have more money, people get upset and they'll like get really salty at you. But uh, it is, it, at the same time too, it's like a developer having more money is never a bad thing that just helps them make more stuff and why would why would you ever want them to not i guess it, it's obviously shit's going well for them if they're going to epic and they're like all this shit's like being like trash like oh they're doing this but then like it's it's making them money and like i just and, find, i find it very I, f- I find it really funny that they went to them though because you, you said they went to for uh epic games right fortnite games yeah Fortnite games. I might as well just switch your days today. Uh, um, but no, I find it funny because Rocket League is you know, like remember Rocket League was huge yeah, when it first still came sells out. All right, but I it's think still it's, it's still really good. It might have. I think it's definitely slowed down just because everyone has the game now. So I mean, I'm, like, I'm why... glad that they don't have their pride. You know, right? not, not not that they're pride, but you know they're not dicks where it's just like, well, they're bigger than us. Screw them. They're just like, no, this could work. Well, you know, they, this could... I mean, like, because there's a lot of people in the industry that would probably be like that. It's just like, no, our game's better. If like, I bet Rock- PUBG if, wouldn't do this. If you're Rocket League right now and you're like, sales are, are winding down, the popularity is winding down. Cause you, like, I mean, yeah, yeah, it's a great game, but I mean, yeah, people can only take it for so long. And some big companies like, hey, we'll take you in, we'll pay, we'll pay up everything, and you'll have all this money to, to keep working on that game or even like start a sequel. Yeah, like why the fuck wouldn't you do that? Um, it's security and why just why not? And, and if you have the game on Steam already, you're gonna get your updates still. All it does is make it for people on Steam that don't have the game right now, which you still have time to buy the game right now. It just means you have to go to Epic. And, and personally... You can, you can play with Epic people, right? Yeah. Okay, so yeah. it doesn't, really does not matter. No, I, no, I guess no. if you want to get trading cards, I guess... Yeah, well, the thing is, people up. have problems with Epic Game Stores because there's, like, the, the 
friend list thing isn't working that well. Like all these promise features are not like nearly at the par of Steam. I think they'll get there one day. But you know what's funny? Not... I I have yet to see what even it looks like. Like yeah, <laughs> I've never I, even I, I booted it up it. once I think to pick up Subnautica, but uh, okay. um, people were upset because yeah, I didn't have all this stuff. But as a David, your gamer, mic's muted. As a console gamer, <laughs> yeah. wear my head. Like, I, I don't give a fuck because like, I have to turn up a, a, a $400 machine <laughs> to play <laughs> right. God of War as opposed right. to like, click, load it up. Well, you have to turn on your heater because that's what the PS4 fucking sounds like. Like, my, at least my PS4. I turn on... Vroom, you never got a pro, like, did you? What the fuck? Are you okay, no, you, bro? You, nev- you never got a pro, huh? <laughs> no. I heard it's bad for the pro also. Uh, sometimes it can be bad, apparently, but uh, I've not had yeah. issues. I think the it day's depends. gone. It sounds like that shit's about to be gone. Cause my it's, PS4 it's like, was, was not... revving up and I was like ready to get rid of that thing. Yeah, and yeah, you know, it's it's always it's funny that 360 was the popular one back then, and it was so loud. And the PS3 was hey, it was kind of loud, but not too loud. But that was the least, you know, definitely less popular. And now it's like switched completely, where Xbox is quiet. Like, I never hear that thing yeah, Xbox ever one X making is noise. A, is a goddamn huh? Xbox One X the... is like. Yeah, but uh, even like the original Xbox One, I mean, it, it had a reason not to be quiet. I mean, not to be loud because it was so gigantic that it, it better not make a fucking noise. It was an ugly <laughs> console. It was an ugly. It was just a giant, like brick. Like, yeah. So like, hey um, David, yo, did you click uh, watch this for the Zebo? No. Oh, it's got another watcher right now. Oh, <laughs> you fucker! <laughs> I didn't click watching. Are you serious? Yeah, maybe someone, I hit someone added to the watcher list. No, I don't even. Yeah, I was about to say. I, I was gonna say maybe I did on mistake, but no, I don't even have my uh, account signed in on my I phone. I started so. laughing. I thought. I thought. I thought. Uh, David clicked watch because there's twelve watchers on it now. Well, I did have already have it on my watch list as soon as we went up on there. So maybe I, that was I just me. Not, I refreshed the, the begin, just now. Oh, so oh, just oh shit. Yeah, so someone else is watching. Uh, uh oh. Uh oh! How the fuck is someone else watching this now? You better Z go and buy it. <laughs> Hurry up! Z buy it, yeah. You better Z buy it. This <laughs> is to buy. Um, Maybe. Final conversation is our favorite hedgehog got a movie trailer finally. Yo, all right. I I, I had the uh, we, we were supposed to watch it yesterday, but I had my thing on mute, so I didn't even. I, oh, I'm not even but... gonna lie. I completely forgot that that trailer was supposed to come out yesterday, and I had my thing on mute. So by the time I looked. And I got on my. It was computer, like three of us. Like, like, hey, are you fucking? I thought yeah. you died. I was like, <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't even, I didn't even say anything. I was like, oh no. <laughs> was like, so I turned off my phone. I was like, I completely forgot we were supposed to watch that. So I was just like, fuck it. <laughs> it's like I, I got up later anyway. I got up like twelve thirty. I had to go somewhere. Uh, I completely forgot the Sonic trailer was supposed to be. I didn't even turn my computer on. I left, came back. I was like, let's see what's happening. And I go onto the thing that I had. Even yeah, though you made like, a goddamn oh. video the day before. <laughs> Huh? You made a video I I, the day before. I know, I forgot. Well, no, to be fair, that they never announced that the trailer was supposed to come out tomorrow. There was just that one Twitter that said it. Uh, it was like Sonic or SegaNews.com or something Sonic like that. Q.com. But nobody else announced it was supposed to come out tomorrow besides that one thing. So I, I completely missed that. <laughs> like, uh, the only God time damn. I ever heard the trailer was supposed to come out was from you guys. I'm, I'm, I'm not even that upset at you. Forgot. I'm more upset yeah. that I had to fucking avoid Twitter all day because everyone was posting gifs of it. I'm like, oh, I guess I can't <laughs> look at any reactions of this because I got to go on blind. And like yeah. four hours after it, Gore's like, I go to even respond. I'm like, hey, are you good? Is... I went to go refresh YouTube. We already fucking posted it an hour ago. I was like, oh, fuck this guy. I, I guess I can just I watch it now. <laughs> I was like, no. <laughs> no. I was, I was like, really upset too because that would have been a really good one. <laughs> uh, but I, second, I, yeah. second trailer. I promise we'll watch that one. <laughs> oh, when we, when when we they, get when we get you know Tails is gonna show up in the after knuckles. credits, right? Yo, knuckles or post Tails. Credit, post it's gonna set up Tails. their whole extended universe. The SCU. Oh, oh my god. If they go ahead no no no. If they go ahead the and Sega Cinematic trilogy, Universe and they that, legitimately SCU. release Sonic three and Knuckles as the last movie. I was about to say I hope it's not SVU. That would be really weird. And you can Sonic. and you can overlay Sonic and Knuckles over Sonic the Hedgehog and it'll play a whole different movie on it. And then out of nowhere, you see this yellow one show up, and it's Sonny Chu. Let's go. <laughs> and someone edited that picture to make James Marsden look like, uh, 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 what's his name? Christian Weston Chandler. Jesus, and then that's a, that's Sonic a look like Pikachu. I think that's his name. Yeah, uh, you, is. you know what Sonny Chu is, right? <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. Everybody, he's everybody a legend. Yeah, he's a legend. The legend of the internet. Oh, is he going to be in the movie? I hope he is. I hope so. He has a cameo. 
And he goes like he goes really fast. He goes, wow. Uh, you know how dope That's it'd be it. if there was a Sega Cinematic Universe? Oh, what's a Sega game? Crazy Taxi. It's Channel Five. <laughs> uh, Shenmue. Super, Super Monkey Ball. Shenmue. Let's go. <gasps> you isn't Yakuza a, a Sega Bayonetta. series? Bay- yeah, well, the first one. <laughs> it's just, Technical. And then their their end game is uh is All Stars Racing. Oh, beautiful, <laughs> dude! Who be the Thanos? Is there a villain? It can't be Eggman. Oh no, for Avengers it would be Eggman because you know they had Loki just ran yeah. as yeah. the villain. But um, then the end game would be uh I don't know who's a villain. Who's the villain from Space uh, Shuttle? <laughs> who's oh, the villain? I, from I Yaku? feel like I feel like you can get away with uh with Chaos from the first Sonic Adventure. Metal Sonic maybe he'd be like a. Uh, You'd be no, like, that that's Ultron. That's Ultron, yeah. I was, like, I was trying to think of his name. <laughs> that would be the uh, Ultron, yeah. yeah. Uh, but, oh, who's the other side? You, you like know what? Times. I can imagine Ed Gabe with all Sega characters, and then instead of uh, dramatic adventure music, it's just it's just Crush 40 with their own theme song. What goes up must come down. That's uh, Sonic. Yeah, just all through, I, know, all through, I, know, I know which one you're talking about. Yeah, but. no, all through, all through, instead of playing any Avengers like theme where they use it every, every fucking two minutes in, in Endgame, they just throw in fucking Sonic, uh, Crush 40 songs everywhere. Uh, it, it, did they do that one song from uh, Crazy Taxi? No, that's was, Offspring. No, that's Offspring. Yeah, 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 yeah that yeah. one. Do, 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 do. They play that one. Yeah. <laughs> ding, ding, ding. That's good. All I'm right. ready. You guys ready yeah, for the SCU? This was go bomb. <laughs> you know, okay, here's the thing. Is is one uh you know, I think I got so desensitized to to the how Sonic look that I just don't care anymore cuz I feel like I've seen that picture so much now that I'm like whatever. Now I see it in action. Because like if I feel like if I didn't see it beforehand, they just drop this trailer out of nowhere. I'd be like Jesus Christ, kill it. <laughs> <laughs> kill it. But yeah. But that I, part where he's like aiming the gun, I was like, "Oh, do it, please." Yeah, but <laughs> I saw it now. I'm like, it's not that bothering. But but you know what's funny because people will do new renditions where they all they do is enlarge the eyes, and it looks yeah. so much better. It looks way better. They make him a little bit shorter, so he doesn't look like a he's like humanoid, which is weird. Yeah, they <laughs> shouldn't have gone with the actual realistic look. It just it yeah, looks I get it though because is, is that what they tried to do? <laughs> yeah, they went for like the the, the, the Detective Pikachu kind of thing. The, 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 but they, but they yeah. look like the Pokemon, though. Yeah, That's but, the thing. He doesn't look like Sonic. Right, but here, he has the, human teeth. I will say this. Fuck? I I'll get say, he has teeth, but he has. It looks like he has like every. The most realistic part of him is his teeth. He, it looks I, like he has like Brad Pitt teeth. Let, like, me, let me say this: is I think people are posting on there like the the intro cinematic to Sonic Sonic 2006, which is like super CG and looks. Oh, have yeah. you seen the, the opening intro? Yeah, of course. Is it, it, when it, he, he's with that girl or whatever. I don't remember, but I know I know there's parts. Oh, of... you're talking about the original trailer where everybody's like, "Yo, this is gonna be good." It looks like... it looks really really good. Yeah. But the thing is yeah. too that we can't do there, Hollywood is stepping away from from like cartoon cinematics. You know, is that Sp- Spider Verse got weird. away with it because they're doing that? But like, but right now, obviously, like the trend is like live action. You know, it's Lion King, Aladdin, uh, Pokemon. Uh, we're doing all these like different like live action stuff. So, uh, some some really hyper gorgeous looking, but like CG thing is not gonna work well. So I I get why they're doing this, but mm-hmm. it's it's so bizarre of an idea. It is. It's just like you know what's I, gonna I, you know what's gonna be funny. Is, what is it? this still might be better than Super Mario Bros. In which case Sega's like hell yeah we we beat Mario. Yeah, <laughs> we, we beat, beat Mario a movie somewhere. From 28 years ago. <laughs> it's like what a, what a success. Like Nintendo, uh, wait, was it? Nin- wait, wait, Sega does what Nintendo don't. There you yeah. go. I can say that, I guess. Yeah, they don't really shitty movies um, in 2019. It's obviously gonna be a bad movie. Jim Carrey is not even Eggman. He's just Jim Carrey until the well, last shot. The Eggman. Last yeah. shot. That Yo, last shot is pretty good. Shot, I man. love that last shot, dude. That last shot's fucking really good. Where he puts those guys, I was like, all right, I didn't, I didn't think they'd do that. I thought he'd just look like that. And then I thought so too. And then they did that. I'm, I'm like, oh, I'm telling I'm you right now, that's the last two minutes of the movie. If that is, Probably. I'll be really upset because that, that that looks so good. He's you know in what? Sonic's you know what? It looks like, right? You know what? That setting up for Sonic Sonic the Hedgehog too. Is he's gonna look exactly like yeah. that for Sonic Adventure yeah. 2? That, that might even be yeah. post credits. And then at he the, just suddenly gets morbidly really obese. What? Yeah, what well, that? Oh, yeah, you know what? Well, yeah, he's morbidly really obese. What if that's post credits? That's gonna be post credits. I, I bet it's gonna be like he he falls into Sonic's world and it looks like he dies or something because he if you look in the background it's like, like mushrooms, giant yeah. mushrooms and shit. It looks like Sonic's world. Um, so I'm assuming he's there and uh, something happened with his hair and he he's been there for a little while so his mustache got really big and I don't know maybe there's things he eats so setting up for Sonic fat. the Hedgehog too. Those fucking mad lads. Yeah, dude, imagine he eats knuckles. That's how he, why he's fat. 
That'd be awesome. He eats big the cat. <laughs> he eats big the cat. There you go. That's even better. <laughs> you just see a skeleton. <laughs> you hit him like gnawing on a bone. And then and then you see that shot where he puts the glasses on. That's he, he put he put the stake there with just Big's head on there. <laughs> it's bloody. It's like Game of Thrones stuff. <laughs> now the only thing I'm genuinely curious about is if they decide to try and do the Chaos Emeralds in this. No, oh, that, that 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 gets introduced. By, it'll by be like, oh, it'll be the Infinity Gauntlet shit, right? That's, That's kind of what I was thinking. Is the, it's, <laughs> we're already kind of talking about them doing. Uh, why am I getting so excited for this movie now? <laughs> <laughs> they tease one of them at the end. Like, uh, I don't know, maybe Jim Carrey finds one in Sonic's world. He's like, whoa. Like, oh, you know what? That's going like... to be dope. And then they're going to, like, have a big cat movie, and he's going to find <laughs> the Emerald somewhere. Don't say that. And he's going to get shot it. dead by Shadow at the Amy end. Amy Rose the movie? You're like, ugh. Rather get Sonic, the Tails, in. and Knuckles have to hold on to one Emerald together, and they're going like that, and they're like, ugh. Oh, yeah, got Guardians. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I hate this. <laughs> I'm excited. I'm in. I'm this will in. this will fail harder than they need to get us. In, they need to get us in the writer room for that. Yeah, I, I'm sure they have the same idea. If they, yeah, I if I, I just love that Jim Carrey is literally just Jim Carrey. Like it's like yeah, it's, he's, it's he's, he's, he's in a movie. Riddler. That's all he is. It's as if he's in the movie from the year that Sonic the Hedgehog came out. Yeah right. Yeah, I mean, hey, Jim Carrey. Uh, we haven't seen him in a movie like this in a little while, so. Right, he's been dealing with some shit. I think the last one was like that magician movie. Anybody ever see that? The Prestige. No, but. No, 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 no. He was in a comedy movie. Yeah. Uh, he played Hugh Jackman. Um, oh, the Illusionist. Got it. Yeah, the Illusionist. He played Paul Giamatti. No, <laughs> no. Uh, I forgot what it's called. It, it, nobody liked it. It had Steve Carell in it, but what? he was he was like the villain in it. Uh, oh, Mind I, Freak. Yeah, there you go. I don't know exactly. what you even said. <laughs> Mind Freak. Oh, Mind Freak. Yeah, actually, he was he played a Chris Angel type. So okay, that's okay. actually not not too far off from the truth. Cause he like he, he like hammered he put it in like a nail in his brain and he just really like for the rest of the movie he's just like like this he's like that's the trick <laughs> I was like that's the only part I, I thought was funny in that movie anyway I don't know what it's called Jim Carrey uh, I I thought Jim Carrey was amusing in this trailer I wouldn't say he was funny you know, though oh, I I'm not gonna lie like some of the jokes were like huh, okay I just I enjoyed like he did that robot thing I'm just like that's that's old school Jim Carrey. I, we haven't seen that in a very long time. <laughs> like I, 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 the song choice. No, I'm not. As, as much as I love ridiculous I music for this, that was that was not the that was not the call. Um, I don't know I think what, the, is, the, what the music is with trailers and Gangsters Paradise. Like yeah. I feel like there's so many movies out there. What that they, use what they did Paradise? can't hold us. That would have been fucking awesome. Uh, yeah. yeah oh, so the, the the editing itself, which is funny because I'm I'm in post production class right now. So, like, all I'm looking at in a lot of these movies I'm watching lately is just editing. Like, I just got a fucking eye for that because I'm just editing so many of these fucking projects all the time now. But, um, like, the, the trailer edit was so weird because they would, like, cut the music and then do some dialogue. Like, I, if you rewatch the trailer, it's, like, does some beat, cut, dialogue. Beat, yeah. cut, dialogue. I'm like, ugh, that sounds really gross. But uh, mm-hmm. I, th- I think the one cool moment they did in that trailer was, was, was uh, remix the music a little bit. When Sonic did the spin dash for the first time, he just he jumped out, did that weird sure. spin dash. It, did, it was it looked kind of cool. Yeah, the spin dash looked cool. I actually like that shot. Actually, you know what when the he coolest... like hits the car and it flips over. Yeah, like, you right. know, cool and, I like the, the Jim Carrey. He was like, oh, thanks, but uh, that's, right, obviously, not, that's obviously not tied together. But uh, well, you know, mind, you know what the coolest part of that trailer was though? Uh, mm-hmm. the ending. <laughs> the, well, yeah, actually, but the second part yeah. is uh, the what? Paramount with the rings. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That was, cool. that was really good. I was like, I like that. That was cute. And you know what? Can I just say one thing? In my reaction, I was like, "Oh, cool, he's Doctor Strange now because he could just open portals and shit." And somebody, somebody in my comments, I knew someone was gonna say this because I knew that, 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 that was probably a thing in the freaking games. But he's just like, "Huh, this guy uh, is watching this trailer and he doesn't even know what a warp ring is." Like, like what? <laughs> If ever, oh, warp, warp, ring. Ring, warp rings take you while well, they take you to those weird places. Remember when you finished the level? I, they... I get that, but I didn't know they're called warp rings. I didn't know Sonic could just throw them. Yeah, <laughs> I, know, I get what you're saying. I get, I get what he's trying to say, but I, yeah, I, I know at the end you. when you because the, the warp ring, ring right? takes you him know? to like his house. It's like no, the warp rings take you to some weird place where you start walking around like. Oh yeah, weird... yeah, you're talking about the bonus stages. Yeah, that, that's the warp yeah, yeah, ring. Yeah, yeah. yeah, but there's a ring at the end also, isn't there? Oh no, 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 it's a flag. Oh no, not flag. It's a a sign. I'm right. thinking of anyway. Yeah, no, I know you're talking about. Yeah, I, I just played Sonic Mania recently. I was like, yeah, and all the bonus stages are fun, which I never thought they were fun in the original games, personally. But, um, 
Yeah, I mean, if they wanted to, I think they should just do a CG animated movie. I don't know. I really, I get what you're saying. Like, the, I mean, Pokemon and stuff like that is, is live action now. But there's a lot of movies out there. Like the Smurfs, remember that when they made those in the live action? That was a horrible, horrible movie. Horrible. And it, it did well enough, but then the sequel didn't do good at all. So I just yeah. don't understand why this isn't, I mean, people know Sonic. So even if this is a cartoon movie, I think people will still want to see it if they like Sonic. And also, if they did a cartoon, even if he looked like this in the cartoon. This is like five people... years too late. Yeah, also, him just interacting, like him sitting on that uh, the car seat talking to James Mars. I'm, like, I'm not buying it at all. And, and when he talks, he's like, oh, meow. I'm just like, I'm not. Uh, I mean, the... Meow? Yeah, yeah I mean, it's... <laughs> it's, it's cute. It's not funny, though. It's, <laughs> it's so bad. It is bad. Um, it's no, cute. You know what sucks? That's, you know what? The thing is that I do want to say that people are saying, like, this ruined Sonic, which I'm like, no. Uh, have you Sonic, played the last Sonic's been kind of fucked Sonic up already. Yeah. Mania? Yes. Yeah. Sonic's also been kind of fucked up for the last 10 to 15 years now, so it's like, who yeah. cares? Um, I, think, I think he's always been screwed up, but that's my You know, uh, You know what sucks? I don't, I, I, I don't care about Sonic that much. Genuinely, but I like Sonic himself, I just don't like his games. Anyway, genuinely, what sucks? Is that if this movie come out maybe even like three years ago, like people are like, whatever, it's Sonic, who cares? The fact right. that it's coming out and we're like, it's coming out after Detective Pikachu, which fucking looks way after so good. Like you know what they could have, they could have announced these side by side. I'd be like, oh god, those are both are gonna look terrible. Uh, well, Detective you know we're gonna see this trailer before Detective Pikachu, so Detective Pikachu you'd be like, really good though. Like it's it's yeah. shocking, and I mean to be fair, we gotta watch it. So who knows still? But for what we've seen so far. It looks really good. This looks like trash. I, I wouldn't say it's horrible though, because I mean, it might be a fun like, movie. It might still be a fun movie. It could be just like it could it could be held up by Jim Carrey. I could Jim, see that. Yeah, that's why I read that comment was Jim Carrey is carrying the fuck out of that movie. Well, his name is Jim Carrey. So. Uh, <laughs> all right, thank you for tuning in. You know what's funny? I've never I haven't seen anybody say that yet. So make, make Take a tweet. Hurry up, go 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 make a tweet. Uh, yo, follow me at Twitter. I'll make a tweet. Oh. Uh, Go write uh, it. I'll retweet it. And you'll get fucking Android. Viral. Android, make 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 a tweet. How you do it? I'm going to do it right now. Here we go. Uh, uh, hold on. My phone's slow. <laughs> hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I'll do it later. <laughs> Take it too long. <laughs> so I was actually going to try to do it, but my phone's being slow. Anyway. Um, yeah. All right, that's news. Well, no, that's uh, and that's. Uh, I want to mention one other thing about it. Uh, we didn't really talk about the special effects itself. I will say, um, the first shot of Sonic, like him t- stretching and shit, look weird. But when he had that the close up, up that opening cool. his mouth, I thought he looked if fine. If they literally and, just showed that close up, everyone would be a lot more excited for this. I think. Yeah, if that was it, like that was the only shot, of Sonic, which would be weird in a Sonic the Hedgehog trailer. You only see Sonic for five seconds, but whatever. Um, but yeah. Uh, also, I, I that the him running through and doing the sonic boom thing, I was like, all right. I mean, whatever. I, I, if it's a straight up comedy, then I don't know. It could be horrible though <laughs> if it was a straight up comedy. Oh, I mean, it is right. It's gonna be a comedy. Yeah. Like Pokemon's a comedy technically. Uh, you watch that one Pikachu world, and you're like, damn, this is actually. Kind yeah, of except yeah, I see I see like the first trailer for Detective Pikachu. Remember the first shot of Detective Pikachu? I was like, what is this, Blade Runner? Like it looked good. Yeah. And then you see this, the first shot is just like a uh, police car. And it goes, phew. And by the way, the place is called the? Green Hills. Yeah, what the 760? That's a, that's really fast. I don't know if that's fast enough for him to stop time completely, but all right. <laughs> like later on when he stops time like he's Quicksilver. I'm like, okay, whatever. I don't care. He wasn't actually going that fast, too. If you watch that trailer again, him going by that car, you can, I mean, you see him for a few frames. Yeah, so. that's a light behind him, though. Yeah, that's true. I, I saw a big ball, though. So. You like um, it. Also, the, the place is called Green Hills, Hell by yeah. the way. Which is funny. Just the way I like it. Green, Green Hill Zone. Get it? Yeah. A, do you get it? I wonder if they have, like, the prana plant things, that, like, jump up. I don't care. Oh, we're done talking about this. <laughs> it's just, I'm, not, I'm trying to bring like, like what well, what can they actually bring into this from Sonic the Hedgehog that's not just Knuckles and the rings and and tails and stuff like. I guess the animals like uh, Jim Carrey gonna steal a bunch of animals and you have to save them. Probably. I don't. Probably they don't give a fuck. Anyway, 
We're done. Um, so. I was gonna say I've been having a pee for like a bit now. Let's wrap up. Oh, oh I'm sorry. Well, we still got, we still got bullshit. So. All right. Well, you start talking about that while I go pee. I'll be able to hear. Oh, I just, I like... I'll take your fucking headset with you. God, it's all good. Uh, yeah, leave it on too. I want. I'm hear muted. It. We just hear. It. We just hear it. <gasps> I like we're talking about bullshit. And he's taking a piss. So. Anyway, what's bullshit? Uh, uh it's pretty bad. Uh. <laughs> it's a pretty bad one, so I mean, he could have just waited. Okay. All, he, all he said was, uh, Modern Warfare 4 this year? No, that's that's happening. All right, <laughs> it's, cool. So it's happening. definitely happening. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. It's been long enough. People people want, they don't want World War II anymore. They don't want freaking future shit. They don't want, uh, of course, they can't do another Black Ops. They're going to go back to Modern Warfare. They ain't doing Infinite Warfare. They ain't doing Ghosts. You know, that's for sure. Do a new one? They, they could do Advanced Warfare 2, I guess, but they don't want the space shit or like the future stuff. So I can see them doing Modern Warfare um, just to bring back people that were big fans of Modern Warfare. And also they had the Modern Warfare uh, remaster that, I mean, had a lot of controversy, but people liked that remaster. Um, and I could see them doing a Modern Warfare 2 thing with it. You know, like a, it's 10 years since the last game. I mean, since Modern Warfare 2, technically. So I could see them bundling in that again and then i could do the same thing but they'll like maybe they'll make it so that if you pay 20 extra dollars you get it but you could still buy it separately yeah you know, master so welcome back welcome back so oh, I don't... i'm walking myself back but whatever <laughs> i don't know I, I it's i don't think that's bullshit i think it's gonna happen this is like the first time i think we actually had a bullshit that i i think will definitely happen well, i mean we're only the, the six switch one the switch one was gonna happen I don't think it's definitely going to happen. Like, I'm not 100% on it. You know what I mean? That's you right. know, like, I'm not like, oh, it's definitely happening. There's no way in hell it's not. I think this is definitely happening. And especially since, like, the last few Call of Duty games got leaked. Right. And they ended up being correct. So, even Infinite Warfare got leaked ahead of time. I was like, Infinite Warfare, what? And then it happened. I was like, oh, all right. Good for them, I guess. Right. No, I, I, I agree. Yeah. Uh... What a good... Let's talk about Sonic some more. <laughs> you oh, think they're going to play the... Uh, you think he's going to run away from a truck and it, they're going to play the song? Follow I'm me. At the speed set me fire. free. Trust me and we will escape from the city. They got to play that, right? It would be like a heavy metal version, I'd though. I'd be surprised if there was no Crush 40 whatsoever, but then again, I wouldn't be surprised either. It reminded me of some of the songs. He keeps saying Crush 40. Learned. Open your heart. Yeah, sing them. Sing them all. Uh, see, I, have, I have some of them on here. You want to be American, idiot? That's Green Day. I'm going to play a couple <laughs> seconds of these, though, because... Uh, to... Oh, copyright? Yeah. <laughs> crush 40 might come and crush us. That's Sonic. That's totally Sonic. Sonic. Yeah, that... Yeah. <laughs> All right. I hear that first two seconds, and that's... That's a Sonic song. That's like Sonic Adventure right there. That's uh, Sonic Heroes. Okay. Well, it's Sonic Heroes theme. Did they make that one? Sonic. What Heroes. comes up must come down. Yeah, Sonic Heroes. Is that them? That's that crazy. was Shadow the Hedgehog. Oh. <laughs> uh, we should do this as a trivia thing. You play music, and we have to guess what Sonic trivia. game it's that'd from. Be, that'd be funny. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, let me see if I can. Yo, it's your boy Knuckles. I know what that one's from. Yeah, we uh, on our way Actually, back from a tournament, I start playing that. We start going back to all this, this Knuckles. Yo, yeah. this is your boy Knuckles, and we in it's Punk Hill. Knuckles. You know what? That's that's a funny thing. Everybody's like, "Why is Gangsters Paradise playing in this?" And I'm like, "Down it, heroes." Used to jam out to that. <laughs> back when I was like 12. Whatever the fuck that game came out. Some good shit. Let's just make that the, the original soundtrack. Fuck it. You know what? DMC games, they have good soundtracks. <laughs> but let's, all, let's all agree Sonic has the best. Oh, yeah, brother. Yeah, even David agrees. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's not listening. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's looking, right. at that, he's looking at that Zebo right now. I really am, though. Yeah. 
<laughs> it's refreshing, and I'm like, ah. Oh. So, all right, so we're at the end of the podcast, so we're going to come back to Zebo talk. <laughs> Zebo Watch 2019. Next week, you're going to see a Zebo in this yeah, boy's David. hands. <laughs> He's going to plug it in yeah, and play your, it for Your us. dream is to own every console, isn't it? Uh, what? You're trying to own every console, right? That's your thing? I do eventually want to get all the consoles. So yeah. what, you how, you're going to buy the Zebo one day. You know what would be funny if right when he bought it and he yeah. got it, uh, people posted it up for like 100 bucks or something? <laughs> I mean, I'm now at 36 consoles, so I, I do eventually would like to Make it 37, it. baby. Come here, on. So look, here's the thing. Here's the thing. This is the most obscure think? console because you didn't know about it until an hour ago. Yeah. You're going to buy a Zebo yeah. one day. When's your next chance, one... man? It could be a thousand dollars next time. Mm. It could and, also be and you can always buy it and just resell it if you really don't like it. That's true. You can sell it for more. Sell anything of mine unless I absolutely have to. In which case, there's honestly rare things in my collection I could sell for more. Yeah, but Zebo. <laughs> Nothing. Well, let me let me rephrase that. There's rare things in my collection I could sell that would actually sell. Not like oh, I hope some other fucking weeb like me is out there randomly wanting this. Do you think we could uh we could track down whoever like did, like made the idea for Zebo and get them on the podcast yeah, and talk about Sam Samuel? Samuel. <laughs> uh, Samuel makes Zebo. I don't know, David. It's looking you in the eye. I don't know, man. Yeah, it might be gone by the end of today. I keep. I don't know. You know what? And I'll, and I'll have there, to wait at least to see what my bonus check looks like. Maybe I'll get it. There's 11 people watching it, including one. Yeah. In the last hour. Know. The wolves are out there, man. When and they it, smell blood. You see when this went Maybe. up? The sharks are out there, I should say. That's even better. Those are more ferocious. Oh, shit. Th- this went up like four days ago, David. Yeah. You're lucky. You're lucky. Oh, wait, no, hold on. Did it? No, it went up in March. Uh, no, it went up four days ago. Shh, shut the fuck up. Four days ago. It'll be gone in the next four days. And you're going to piss off 11 other people. <laughs> <laughs> you, 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 you imagine them like waking up in the morning, have their cup of joe, go on computer. What the fuck? zebo has gone. <laughs> Zebo, no. Just looking at it, too. Just looking at his face. <laughs> I really kind of want it. You have, uh... <laughs> Imagine opening it, smell the smell of fresh game console. It smells like Brazil. <laughs> yeah, uh, booties and lotions, whatever they have over booties there. Booties and lotions. <laughs> <laughs> I, I only watch Fast and Furious movies, so it's, <laughs> every time they go to Brazil, it's like everybody with chunky butts and dancing around, and they're all like they have lotion or whatever. They're all sweaty. I'm assuming it's lotion. <laughs> it's... Probably. Probably the lotion. Confirmed. Or oil. Whatever. What else is in Brazil? Oh, football. There you go. Football. Football, football. yeah. Football. Uh, Sega Genesis. Uh, they're big Sega fans there. Yeah. Oh, they're, they're probably looking forward to the Sonic movie. It's going to be big in Brazil. They should have had Sonic have a bigger badonk. Because so. they like bigger that. Bigger badonk. <laughs> they like that, right? Oh, yeah. Oh uh, yeah, man! Don't they have like a booty festival over there or something? I heard it. I heard that about uh, on like a podcast once. Yeah, like, <laughs> like if, if if the um if the crime ever like slowed down over there, I definitely want to. That's like that's been like my number, my number one vacation spot. I've always want to go to, but the crime there sucks. Yeah, booties. Speaking of of what's gonna suck is you not getting the Zebo if it sells out. Yeah, he's gonna keep this podcast going until you buy it. <laughs> No, we, we gotta wrap this shit up. Oh man. Well, they you're might. Gonna, you're gonna feel like a piece of shit. If you buy like... it right now, they'll wrap it up to ship it. And then just buy <laughs> you know, it. we're gonna post this, and there's gonna be some collector that watches this, and he's gonna be like, you know what? Fuck that guy. Oh no shit. No one watches this. There'll be one guy. There's one guy. One guy. Dude, hey, look hey, Gore, you. Gore just Gore just advertises podcast on his uh, collecting video. So yeah, those get those get decent views. So, hold on. I want to see if Zebo is a is a popular uh, thing on YouTube right yeah, now. Yeah, that's a good call. First video. Oh, the Sonic trailer just started playing. <laughs> I was watching the Sonic trailer <laughs> earlier on my phone. I don't know why. Anyway, Zebo. Zebo Undertale. 
No. Re- Zebo Resident Evil Part 1. Is the Zebo worth playing today? I'm looking at the video four right now. I'm looking, I'm looking at the comments. Yeah, four months ago. I mean, it's... it's Wait, what? Un juego de huevos. Zebo commercial. I said I misspelled commercial. <laughs> that's that's unfortunate. Tekken 2 Zebo gameplay. Let me see this. Let me see how good this looks. Here, I'll even show it here. Oh my god, it looks so good. Dude, look how good the Zebo looks. Can you see it? Yeah. Yeah, look at that. That looks like at least PS1 quality. Well, it's Tekken 2, so yeah. But look at that. That looks great. Imagine playing that on your Zebo. <laughs> looks kind of chunky, actually. Uh, I don't know. She got it, though. Zebo Brazil. This is the Zebo YouTube. <laughs> they put it on there. 48 dislikes. What the fuck? Wait. <laughs> Zebo the clown. <laughs> Dude. Crash Nitro Kart? Crash Nitro Kart. I'm, I guess, I'm, looking, I'm looking at this guy who has a Zebo that won the Zebo we're playing today. Jesus. 20 games that define the Zebo. I'm going to look at this and see what some of them are. Real quick. FIFA 09. Need for Speed Carbon. Dude, it looks great. You guys can't see that. Crash Bandicoot Nitro Kart, like I said. Looks looks excellent. NASCAR game, I think that said. I don't know. F- family Pack. Okay, I'm going to skip that. Oh, it's Extreme got, it's Aha, got, yeah. It's got Final Fantasy Moshu on it. There's a Persona 5 Mushu on it. I hate you all. <laughs> oh, FIFA Mushu. <laughs> <laughs> Avengers Mushu. Avengers Sonic Mushu. <laughs> all right. Is that your thinking yeah. face, David? I like they had like four licenses. Is that, is that your contemplating face? I mean, I've been contemplating it since we discovered this <laughs> thing as a thing, but. Uh. Zebo, baby. All right, we're wrapping up the podcast now. Are you sure? Yeah. My buy. It. Well, you know, what's, you know what's gonna yeah, happen. Wrapping is up. Sometime next week, either David's gonna buy it or someone else is gonna buy it. So, someone. T- and then there'll be a YouTube video saying, "I got it, bitch." And it came in a box. You know, about. it came in a nice box. And get and think about it like this: you get two boxes because they have to put it in a shipping box. So, you, I mean, that's oh, look, a good look, deal. David, there. it still has a wrapping in it too, so you can pull out the wrapper. Oh, oh it yo, really does. open it. Imagine like the feeling of opening a new console, brand new console. You always get that excitement, like ooh. It's in very good condition. It has the keyboard with it. It has a keyboard. What? What is this? Mario? Uh, key the painting one. It's, that was a mouse, but whatever. Same thing. It's pretty good. You get a peripheral and everything. All right. Well. Yeah. We tried. We just right, want you to have all the best stuff. I want you to have all the consoles, but I mean, I, I guess you just don't want this one. It's going to not show up for a while because I don't know when it's going to show up again, but you know. Might be gone. Can make that 37 consoles, you know. Imagine three more and then you have 40. Oh, there you go. Maybe. Close. <laughs> <laughs> FIFA 09? Come on. I, I genuinely, I don't know. When's the last time someone's... Zebo has been sold. I, I don't see any recent listings of it ever. Honestly. Never. Yeah. Nobody wants to sell their Zebo. They love it so much. <laughs> <laughs> Time to Show buy the Zebo. Only sold items. Bye. If you don't have a Zebo, then you're a zero. So you should buy one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm even considering buying one. <laughs> I'll sell my Xbox One X and get a Zebo. <laughs> Play all the great games like uh uh Crash Nitro Kart. Wait, no, there's other game uh Ridge Racer. Z- Ridge, no. Ridge Racer. Uh Super League Zebo. You can play bad dudes. What? Oh yeah, it's not it's definitely worth that. Boomerang Sports? Hackmania? Peggle? Zebo Sports Tennis? I'd like, tennis to, I'd like to remind you, David, that this has Tekken 2 on it. Uh, <sighs> this, they have Zebo Sports Tennis, but uh, tennis is spelled with only one N. 
penis. <laughs> All right, that's the podcast. Right. <laughs> you can follow me at the punk uh, on Twitter and Twitch. Penis. You can follow Gore at Gore the Movie God. That's his YouTube. That's that's his. Uh, oh, Twitter. that's so funny. Uh, now it's time for our final game. Is uh, Gore spell David's Twitch? Tinas. <laughs> Tinas. <laughs> All right, he failed this week too. <laughs> All right. Uh, what was his uh, name again? <laughs> Durandal Joyu. D U R A N D A L. You always get that first part right. <laughs> he always asks a question like, "Do it if he's got it wrong." <laughs> Joy you, Joy you, Joy you. Is it a J? Does it start yeah, with a J? Yeah. Okay. It starts with a J. Joy, Joy. Is it O? Yeah. Okay. Joy. You. <laughs> <laughs> nope. No, Alright, no, that's no, it. No, no wait, no, hold no, on. That's, that's it. You guys oh, no, wrong. That, All right. I was asking. Alright, guys. So that that's no, it for no, this week's episode. Asking. That was that wasn't real. No, no, that was it. Alright. No, 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 David. no, 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 no. No, you no, said no, no. you said no. you. No, no, I no, I didn't say you. I said uh W. <laughs> Alright, that was it. David, no, you I can find you at twitch.tv slash Toronto Joy You. You can find I was clowning. No, you can find I was no. Fuck it. You have, you have an opportunity next week. Don't die. Wait, hold on. Uh, is it an R-O? Nope. All right, well, uh, that's it for this. It's that's an it I? for next week, too. <laughs> it's right. an I. All right, so then that's where else can they find you, David? Whatever. Tenus. David, where else can they find you <laughs> besides on eBay refreshing this page of this console you're about to lose? I don't even know what you just said. I was going to say you went robo there. Where, where else can they find you besides on this eBay page about this Zebo you're about to lose? Uh, twitch.com slash Drondal show you. Cool. Wait, hold on. Do, do the, Which, do the uh, fucking, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Do the fucking money plan. Just do the money plan. Maybe. You can play Tinas. No, uh, but no, speaking of which, uh, I love speaking of, no, uh, I'm trying to mix up this here, so shut your whole mouth. Is that, is that uh, how you say in Brazil, Tinas? I don't know. <laughs> It's still funny, man. It still is, but shut up. Uh, speaking of which, we toss around the idea of potentially doing these as live streams. And what I think I might do if we do end up just going down that route is, live is streaming the I'll, I'll start getting uh, dedicated streaming uh, routine schedules for Stream this. Stream the we're, we're getting... <laughs> well, yeah, he can if he doesn't buy it right now. Coward. I hate you both. Coward. <laughs> All right, go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, where we'll go ahead and maybe preemptively I'll start kind of streaming games that we'll potentially start talking about for it ahead of time and then do the live stream of the event. Uh, then I'll start making a lot more dedicated emails for it and channels and whatnot. But I just haven't had the time to sit down and get all of that prepped. But that is something I would like I'm, to do down the road if we I'm, continue to grow this idea and live stream it elsewhere as well. I'm going right. to test out. How, I didn't want to do it this week because uh, I got to test out how the audio is going to work because I have to figure out. It's got to split the audio somehow. Um, yep. But we're going to live stream it for sure. I don't know how exactly or what exactly, but we're yeah. going to do it. And then uh, we'll do that every week from now on, aside from weeks that we're not here, in which case we had to put a, pre- a pre-recorded like episode in advance that we recorded. So we'll right. see. But uh, yeah, that's going to happen. And if you're still here listening to that, then cool. <laughs> Good for you. You know, I always look at our retention. And there's a, at least like about 10% of our viewers that stay until the end. So there's yeah. at least a couple. So at least one. <laughs> So that, might that, person, that might be Sigma. That might be Sigma, though. To that one person, uh, post in the comments, coward for David not fucking buying the Zebo because he's a <laughs> coward. He doesn't like collecting consoles. Well, our last one did pretty good, and it, it had about 10%, so we had a few. That was during Endgame weekend, too. Oh, I posted up on Thursday, but yeah. I oh, know, I posted on Friday, yeah. You did send it cool. to me a little late, anyway, so. David, buy but the I, w- I wouldn't have put it on Friday. We didn't even talk about Endgame. David, buy the Zebo. Uh, have me on fucking a movie podcast, talk about it, and maybe I'll buy the Zebo. That doesn't make sense at all. <laughs> Let's talk about Endgame. How does that benefit us? <laughs> you get an amazing console, <laughs> and then we also have to have you on the podcast? Yeah, fuck it. <laughs> Sounds like a 
Sounds like I'm hold not on, getting hold anything. On, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Can I at least play the Zebo? <laughs> I mean, I can come down and if we can fucking play together. Why not? All right, cool. Two zeros playing the Zebo. That's what we'll call the stream. We'll call the stream. <laughs> zeros playing the Zebo. Everybody like what? <laughs> what the fuck is a Zebo? Who are you two? <laughs> like, I don't know, man. Hey, I'm playing Resident Evil Four, the best version, obviously. Uh oh. Adrian's doing something. Oh, right. I thought he's figuring stuff out. If you, if I'm assuming, if you use the credit thing, you, you could pay more than forty one dollars per 42. month. It's forty two dollars. I mean, it you, you could just pay it off hundred dollars per month, and you, you'll have it. And you'll, you won't have to pay that. that Yo, forty dollars extra. You know what? Do that, but message the seller and say if he take four hundred for it. You never know. You might lower it for you. Maybe. Tell tell him you're like a you're like a cool guy and uh, you know you have like five kids drop or whatever. Just four, drop him down to four twenty five. I think you got that. Four four twenty five four twenty. Blaze it. Two hundred dollars. Oh four oh yeah we missed four twenty. We never made a four twenty thing this year. Oh I should have done a dinkster thing. I 